Hello everyone, it's time for another E3. It's time. All the stars have aligned, they've made it work. Sony wasn't there though, they got left out. They should have uh, let people play with others on their platform, but instead they kicked them out of the E3 group. It's so much drama <laughs> around that I can't, I just can't believe it. But here we are, here we are for another Electronic Entertainment Expo. Uh, we have a myriad of guests joining us over the next uh, 48 hours, 13 unique broadcasters will be here. Uh, for the Xbox conference, we've got the main host of the show, myself, Co Carnage. How's it going, man? Hey, hello, hello. I like it. I like it. Zeke, he's joining us from LA. He's actually there uh, thanks to Twitch, uh, as you can see. Yep. He's sponsored by Twitch and Intel today. Uh, can you tell us about the fine products of, uh, of Intel? Yes, uh, Intel is what I'm running everything on. In fact, my heart, my... Uh, my pacemaker is mm -hmm. run by Intel. So I actually do have Intel inside. Unfortunately, it's only an I3. So we're gonna need to upgrade it because I might just No, I <laughs> I mean, you set me up, dude. I tried. I did you my tried. best. All you right? tried. Look, it's all that matters. It's, you tried. You tried. Last but not least, I nice, Rami. Nice six and a half second face palm from Rami. <laughs> I know your face palm hurts the most. It really, it really hurts. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Oh God! Did you make did you make signs so you don't talk over the conferences? Is that what's going on? What's happening here? I, I, that's a good idea. I should make a note. I actually drew this last time I was on Drop Frames, and it's still on my desk. And then Zeke was talking about his heart, so I grabbed it. <laughs> okay, all right. I Peter. think this is Zeke's heart. Wait, let me fix it. It's, yeah. It's while you while you fix that, uh, Rami is an industry insider. He's also made a couple of games himself. Just some small, uh, you know, personal projects. They're not really. Uh, <laughs> You shouldn't go check him out or anything. Uh, no, but he's no, going to be no, joining no, us absolutely. for today. Very not Bethesda. To be what are you on tomorrow? You on? You're on Ubisoft and Square. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. I like Square. I like Ooh. Ubi. I don't. I'm not a huge Bethesda expert, so yeah. There's, a, there's the not full, that I don't like him. The full. Oh, you coverage. don't clean bathrooms? What? <laughs> I think. Jesus, we're already getting in on the. Did everyone take a fall? At, did everyone get their seventy six out of the way before E three starts? If we need some that, time, honestly. Okay, I I I am going to that. That was my last jab. Okay, I, for, I'm going in open mind. I I have some faith. I might even be a little excited for mm -hmm. some potential announcements. Uh -huh. Um, I just that was me getting out of my system. Okay, we're good. All right. Bethesda embarrasses himself with seventy six. Damn it! God, Co. You got to you're good. I you're strong now. There you go. I3 inside. Fine. It's it's, it's Zeke's heart it right should there. It's Zeke's heart. Yeah. yeah. Found it. <laughs> uh so anyways, uh No, I, I I hope it's a I hope it's a situation where Co is like then you do something like this and totally redeem yourself. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I hope I do I that, see that. The bait and switch. Yeah. Yeah, I hope I do that too. Well, we'll see what happens tonight on Bethesda. For now, though, uh, I think this might be the hypest conference. I think this has the most amount of stuff to show here coming up on Xbox. Uh, besides every leaked game that's ever leaked uh, in the history of leaks uh, happening this uh, this past week, uh, we are. I think they're they're going to show. Rami, you're the industry insider. Are we going to see mm -hmm. a new console? Are we going to get hardware specs? Are we going to get what are we getting? Chan chances chances say chances are yes but are we gonna see that new are, are we gonna see john the master chief what is what is the master chief's last name john 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 johnson i think is it john johnson it's john is it just john i think it's just john i don't know maybe it's john uh, wick yeah. maybe he's the master chief Damn. he might be the I'd master be chief that. it all starts um, making no, sense like microsoft microsoft has been positioning itself really well over the last year like last year um, there was a lot of discussion about Microsoft sort of like being behind and they've been buying first party studios. They've been getting ready with second party. They're, they're super ready. It feels like they're, they're here. This is the first E3 since they got absolutely wrecked by, by Sony like right. four or five years ago that I feel they're ahead, which isn't that hard because Sony isn't here, but it also feels like they're ahead, right? It's not just ahead at E3. They might actually be ahead of what's, coming and right. that that's interesting like i'm not saying they're going to do better than sony or it's going to be soon but they're definitely positioning themselves in a spot that just makes me uh very excited for what the platform is doing yeah um 
I'm also excited to see if they're gonna, you know, keep up with their indie presence and their indie, um, their indie stuff because obviously that's relevant to me. I think we'll uh, get an indie montage. We have to get an indie montage, yeah. right? Isn't that a staple? I, 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 I guess so. The idea Xbox montage, but I also hope that they, you know, have some love for the indies there as well. So it's, um, it's an exciting one. I'm excited. I, I, I want to feel excited about my Xbox again. I have not touched it for God years. So mm -hmm. I, I want to boot on my Xbox again. That would be awesome. Yeah. Well, and not only that with this conference, but like they've now they've acquired some heavy hitting studios. They have announced that they're more committed to their Xbox library. They have they are now committing to uh, and actually we haven't said this on air yet. They are not only committing more to the Xbox library, but they're committing more to PC gaming. We are getting a five dollar game pass on the PC and they just announced today that Metro Exodus is going to be in that. Right. So it's like they're they're kind of like this is this could be the conference that starts the Microsoft redemption arc. What's that? Like what's, this, a, this, what's that Star Wars saying? The the ember that lights the fire or whatever? That's could be it, man. Absolutely. Like this could be them finally going. I think that okay. Dark Souls. Okay. Sorry. You're right. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. You're right. That is Dark Souls. But yeah, this this very well could be them saying like, okay, we got trashed with the PS4. It is time for the pendulum to swing back. This this is not a an exodus from Xbox. This is a a we took a vacation. And now it's time to make this, you know, attractive and interesting and more importantly, competitive again. And like I was talking about on my channel today, like even if you're a PS4 fan, you should be getting excited what Microsoft is doing, because all the stuff Microsoft is doing right now is going to have to make Sony work that much harder. Like I bet you right. If Microsoft knocks it out of the park on this E3 show, then there's no question that Sony is going to be like, oh, shit. Well, that like like yeah. this, this is not good. That's, so but then, again, yeah. you know, we'll see how the show is. But. Yeah, I'm. I have high expectations for this. I'm hoping they. Do you think it'll be like like that, or do you think it'll be like like if they knock it out of the park? Sony's like, welcome to our love. Yeah, welcome, welcome to the fucking show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you're I mean, showing up. We do know that they're going to be working more closer together, more closely together in the future. So, I mean, maybe it's a uh, you know a good thing for gaming as a whole. Um, but there's no question, like they are, they they literally share the audience. Like they're 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 con the consumers is directly overlapping both of their companies and yeah. everyone only has so much money so you know that that can only go so far unfortunately hmm. i'm just it's, wondering um, like without sony being here the year at e3 it is does that put more of a spotlight on on microsoft and, and the xbox you think I'd say yeah, of so. course like we're all we're all waiting for what microsoft's gonna do like yeah. we'll, we don't know what sony's gonna do everybody knows what's gonna happen Right. In the end, right? Like there's gonna be a new PlayStation, there's gonna be all that. Right. But for now, the the hopes are, chances are the opening shots for what's coming up are now. And that's right. exciting. That's true. We're uh, now on slash twitch, by the way. Yeah, welcome everyone from slash twitch. Uh, I didn't want to interrupt uh, Hi, our, our co host here. Uh, we're previewing everything that's going on with the Xbox conference. We're about fifteen minutes out. We're kind of talking through all the stuff uh, that we can hope to see. So welcome. Feel free to hop on over to slash MJP and join the uh, Hold on, no, no. hashtag. Join the conversation. No, okay, I got too. That was too corporate. That was too, way too corporate. <laughs> that was way too corporate. Did I just ruin your intro? Even for you? No. <laughs> no, oh, not at all. Not at all. Uh, anyways, Co. Here is your five, ten, fifteen seconds, so you can just scream about cyberpunk, and then we can, you know, get it out yeah. of it. Go ahead. You ready? Take it away. <clears throat> we might get a release date. We might get a release date today. Like this could be the start of everything. This could be, I mean, it could be today. It could be, it could be the early next month. This could be or, or next year. Like this is happening. We're finally to the point where it's here. It's a reality. And this is going to be good. Hold on. I need to contribute to the Twitch chat on slash Twitch. God, okay. what a bunch of nerds. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. Cut his mic. Cut his mic. Cut his mic. Get him out of here. Uh, <laughs> Jesus, Jesus. Uh, collector's edition already leaked. That's out there. Uh, regular yeah. edition already leaked, but there was no release date tied to any of those leaks, right? You're you're the one that's up to date on the Cyberpunk news, Co. Was there a release date yeah. tied to any of that? None. The only thing that's been released is uh, basically like a picture of what we think is going to be in the uh, the edition, but that's that's literally it. There's nothing, no new information outside of that one picture. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. 
I don't know. Like it's such a big game. Like it's it's one of those games that it the chances of it hitting expectations are so slim. But if they pull it off, and CD Projekt is one of the studios that could pull it off, right? They pull it off, it's gonna be huge. Like it's gonna be the the defining game potentially of a generation of games. And that's you know, I feel I feel CD Projekt kind of deserves it. Like I hope they pull it off because it's such a it's such a unlikely story. Small Polish game studio, Witcher One, Witcher Two, Witcher Three, um, and then Cyberpunk. Like I really wish they make it. Uh, they're such good people, and I just I just want to see, you know, the Polish studio that could. Like think, that would be awesome. You think we get a long gameplay trailer again, or is it just a, a two minute trailer? I hope so. Like the thing with last year's trailer was that it was pretty. But it didn't give us much. Like we mm. still didn't know much about the game. We knew a bit more about the world. But I want to know about the game. Like what are we playing? What are we doing? Like what is like they've told us a lot. Like games change so much in development that you know if they're going to be showing something, hopefully they're going to be showing something that they're a little confident about. Because um, they've they've really they've done this cool thing where they've basically said, hey, we're not there yet, but we're going to show you some stuff in development. And I hope now they can say, okay, this is a pretty close approximation of what this game is going to be when you play it. Right. That would be cool. Yeah, yeah. Zeke, Cyberpunk hype, are you, are you keeping grounded or are you already through the roof? No, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely hyped about it, of course, but, but I'm not, I'm not at like co-levels or, or levels of, of fanboy as that I could be, that I am for, say, Bloodlines 2. Like, I'm really excited to see more Bloodlines 2 stuff, uh, Vampire the Masquerade stuff. Uh, Devolver conference. I'm super hyped about that. But like, as far as the cyberpunk shit, I'm 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 on a, a even keel for that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's talk about some of the other stuff that uh, we'll see outside of uh, third party. Let's talk first party for a second. Halo Infinite. I don't think are, Rami, are you a big Halo fan? Where are you at with the Halo world? Love Halo. Okay. I I'm not. I, you know, I want to be excited about Halo again. I I haven't I haven't been in a while. Like ODST and Reach were sort of like where it ended for me and even though i really respect halo 4 um and you know like in the halos that have come after have just not they haven't mentioned they haven't managed to capture uh that feeling that i had with the earlier halos and i don't know because like obviously i've been playing destiny a lot and a lot of my love for halo is in in destiny but i really hope that halo finds uh, a new identity right a new like this is halo Instead of trying to kind of be old Halo and kind of be not old Halo, and I just, I'm just, I want to be excited about Halo. Please give me something to be excited about. That's really what I want. All right. Does this excite you? Does a FPS's 2019 BR, does a Halo BR component have any excitement or is BR done? Is, Is that, is BR out the window now? Do they just go back to what Halo was? I don't, I don't, I really don't care too much about Battle Royale. Okay. I like, I, I can see it, but I also don't really need it. Chat's uh, definitely not in the VR world as well. So I think it's, that uh, it's honestly for me, it's Halo was always about like tight little shootouts, corridors, throwing grenades, weird physics bugs, like throwing, throwing a Warthog over somebody's head with a grenade. Like that's Halo for me. Right. I don't really need that with hundred people. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. What were you going to say before I interrupted you? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> hey, Laura, are you excited? You're not a, I Oh, yeah, now I remember. Thank you. Um, so basically, I, I it's an interesting situation because with Halo, it's kind of like the Borderlands thing where yeah. it's such an established franchise. You're going to have a, a fan base, a broad fan base in Halo's situation where they're going to be expecting kind of the same thing. They want more of what they already love. So it's a very fine line to walk when making uh, a subsequent um, sequel where it's kind of like, how much new stuff can you really put in without alienating that already established, very established, in Halo's case, base? It'll be interesting. That's true. That's true. Uh, what, what else are we going to see first party? What about, we talked about Fable on our pre-show. Are, are we, do we think that's, I mean, it was listed in the Mixer game directory, also the Twitch game directory. That's what everyone's thinking it's going to be here. Is it time for a new Fable? Is it time to put that game back out there? Is, I mean, is it time for a good new RPG? Is the bigger if question. If you frame it that I think way, it I is. think so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's about it that come way. on, it's about time. Yeah. Like we, what has been like the big like RPG? Like it's been what The Witcher Three was like the last like really big one that kind of made me feel like, oh wow, here's a big old fantasy RPG. Like all. Apart from CRPGs, yeah, it's 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 been kind of well that type of RPG, right? Yeah, like, yeah, not, yeah. No, yeah. There, There's been a lot of like 
top down role playing games have been a lot but like vampire was there a while ago that was pretty good uh but like the witcher and then now uh, hopefully uh, fable 4 i i'm up for it i'm i'm into a fable 4 i'm into a fable 4 i just really want to plant a tree and then come back 6 years later and then have it grow into a little tree like they promised with like fable 2 <laughs> You just, That's want to all see I want. you just want those trees to grow. That's all you want. I want I want every promise that Peter Molly knew made. I want that to be in Fable 4. Gotcha. Out uh, of curiosity, Rami, did you see the article written about what they wanted Fable to be initially? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about like oh man. It's yeah, Ooh. it's that's that's how that always goes. But I love that about game development. That's the thing as a game developer that makes me so excited is you have these plans and then you go like, oh, okay, that's not going to work. We're just going to adjust a little here. And then before you know, you're making a completely different game. And uh, it's happened so often that whenever there there's there's games out there, sometimes there's stories about how they were made or where they came from. You know, first person shooters that started as third person RPGs, stuff like that. It's just really exciting. And um, by the time it gets to E3, obviously you have a good idea of what it is, but some of the games you're going to see today have absurd history stories, like just ridiculous stories of deals, development, problems, uh, just that kind of stuff makes me excited as a game developer. Like I'm excited to celebrate uh, the developers that have worked so hard to bring this show tonight. And there's going to be issues, there's going to be weird things, there's going to be announcements that don't land as well, but yeah. people worked hard for tonight and I'm just excited to, to celebrate that. So what do you, I'm ready. What do you think is going to be the, the big moment? You think it's because Cyberpunk's already there, so that's kind of is it? You think it's maybe showing Halo off, you th or or the new console off? Like, what's the big, what's the big thing that everyone's going to be talking about? If they have the console, it's going to be the console. You think? Uh, like Sony, Sony seems convinced that the, it's the console because they've been talking about theirs. They clearly want to be ahead. So yeah, I guess we'll see. Zeke, what about you? Yeah. Are are you all in on the indie stuff? Is there any one particular thing here that you're super uh, excited about? with the potential to see as we're about five minutes away, six minutes away. Well, like last time I, last time you cut my legs out before I even had a chance, they're like, and you can't say new IPs. Cause that's always what oh, I'm looking for. Right? Sure. <laughs> always for new, new intellectual pop properties, uh, to be shown there, in, whether they're indie or otherwise. But, uh, I mean, if, if you're going for like a, a long shot outside chance, like man, skate four would be fucking cool to see. I mean, I doubt 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 it's gonna happen but did, that would be pretty sweet did you happen to see uh i think it was i didn't maybe rami read this fully but adam sessler works for like a, a data company when it comes to what people are excited about and i think skate 4 was the number one mentioned thing <laughs> yesterday during all of like social media and chat uh, across all their different platforms during the ea con or the not conference the ea play sorry i'll stay on brand skate 4 was mentioned more times than anything they showed uh which is Kind of funny. Also, they gave thirty just, seconds to Anthem. If you saw that, it was, it was, it was very interesting. Yeah, Greg Miller even said we don't want to. For you guys have had like a rough past couple of months, and like we don't. It was bad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was rough. That was, yeah, yeah. That was pretty hard, man. Because like basically, Anthem has been like Anthem came out. There was a thousands, thousand bullhorns worth of feedback that was given to them and most of it was we need more content as fast as possible and then months go by and then at the ea play show they announce that they have been spending the resources to make a public test server to get feedback on the game and they were like wow are we awesome listening to our people it's kind of like yeah anyways that's anthem we'll be talking about that on our, our recap <laughs> show for e3 next week uh do you think they give any love to the PC side of, of Xbox here? Do you think they devote any time to what's... I mean, we've got the Xbox Game Pass. That's out there. They had a full game list earlier today. I think it's 10 bucks. One of them including... Or one of them being Metro Exodus, uh, which is the Epic Game Store exclusive. No longer, I guess. Um, but do you think they devote any more time to it when it comes to Xbox and PC? They should yeah. for the price and what you're getting. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of their, it's been their strategy for years now, right? They want to blur that line. They want to make you forget that Xbox and PC are different things. They want you to have this one integrated thing and they're in the perfect position to do it. Uh, you know, owning, owning Windows. They're consolidating the stores. It's going to be the Xbox store on PC as well. Like, yeah, they're obviously trying to make this one thing. So I don't think we'll see anything specifically for PC. But oh yeah, they're going to mention PC like all night. 
if if we don't have PC on that bingo card, there needs to be PC on that bingo card. Because it's, <laughs> That's and also, true. I mean, to put we'll it in a little bit of perspective, minutes. yeah, you can you can go right now to the Epic Game Store and you can buy Metro Exodus for forty nine ninety nine, or you could give Microsoft five dollars, oh, and as long as you bucks. beat it in a month, then wow. you're then you get the exact same experience, and you mm -hmm. don't have to use Epic. So. Like that's something they should definitely be pushing a little bit. Yeah. Um, that's uh, yeah, that's kind of significant. They will. What do you think is the opener? Do you open or close with a new console? Do you open or close no, with I, Halo? What do you open with? They open with a game, and then console. Okay. If they have a console, it's going to be like in the first few minutes, and it, they're going to start off with a game that shows off what it can do. Okay. That's what I would do. Sure. Makes sense. Co, what about you? Um, what, uh, real quick, by the way, apparently it's $1 during the beta, beta phase to uh, sign up for PC. Jesus, <laughs> they are trying to get some early adoption rate going over Ooh. there. Holy hell. Okay. My, that seems kind of, okay. Uh, anyway, what was the question? What, what are they going to open with? What are we seeing here in a minute 40, a minute 30? Probably the standard montage. Uh, that'll probably be what we start with kind of like a here's like a bunch of little clips from everything and then honestly I would guess game pass I would probably guess game pass and then right into their established which would be like halo and then maybe some other stuff They may open with teasers though, which could be really interesting. It's true uh, Like here's a quick snap of something that you'll see later in the show But yeah, we'll have to see it's it's gonna be very interesting because this is kind of like their moment to shine So whatever they open with hopefully it'll be strong. It's true. Zeke. What are your predictions? What are we seeing first here? Um, I'm saying, uh, something surprising, like a, a surprise, like that. No one that might not have gotten leaked. The one thing that didn't leak. Sure. Exactly. Exactly. They're going to open with like, Hey, Xbox dildo coming right at you. It's like, Whoa, what? <laughs> <laughs> that would indeed be unexpected. They've taken the timer off, uh, for everyone that's over at slash Twitch. I think we're going to get shut up over there. Uh, but if you want to come join us, we're going to be talking over the conference here at uh, twitch.tv slash hitmejp and we'll be back afterwards to talk about everything that we just saw so it should be starting here any second i'm gonna go ahead and kick it over oh, and, full and by the way over on slash twitch if, if you're excited go ahead and throw a resident sleeper in chat if you've been enjoying the show and you're uh you're ready for, for all this e3 awesome it's true it's true the hype meter is just rolling with those resident sleepers right now <laughs> uh if you feel good about your make what? sure you watch uh, the chat during these conferences yeah it'll, okay. it'll write down a couple of pegs gotcha gotcha noted noted uh well here we go this should be starting any second uh here we go right now perfect perfect timing i'm gonna pump the volume up Different shade of Xbox green. It looks a little. It is. Yeah, it is. JP, are they going to have us on Flash Twitch the whole time? No, they should be this taking us off the Xbox E3 2019 briefing. All those backgrounds were different games that we're probably going to talk about or announce. If you guys oh. notice that. Yeah. There's Gears. We didn't even mention Gears of War. Oh, we didn't even mention Minecraft. We're going to do something with Minecraft. Does Microsoft own oh, Minecraft now? Yeah, they have for a long time. Oh, we have a few. <laughs> Senua Sacrifice is going to have like a fucking sequel they, or something? They, they own those devs. Yeah. They own those devs. That's why they're they showing that. The yeah. Here. Yeah. yeah, the people that made Senua's are here. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay, they're not coming to Twitch. Keep yeah. the hype down, Z. Calm down. <laughs> Dude, I would have like the most that. excited he's been. Yeah, I know. It's dope. Let me reposition this. Another Hellblade? That'd be fucking sweet. The corporate model is the oldest and most efficient. Oh, structure here you go, Co. You might want to pay attention. Us. It's their shit. Scheduled scarcity is a premium feature. Out of world. Yeah. Oh, dude, you're, this, this on screen is that so is far ahead of the actual provides. channel. Security in a senseless and I'm on slash world. Xbox. 
This is Halcyon, the furthest colony in the galaxy, proudly owned and operated by corporations. Everything we have, everything we are, we owe to them. What the hell? They are always with us. Oh, this is looking good. No one has yeah. ever gone against them. Oh, shit. But a stranger has just arrived. Someone who's challenging the corporate war. Someone who's digging up their secrets. Dude, this looks... Someone who could be a villain. Ah. Or ah. a hero. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Here, hope this gun serves you better than it did me. It even or looks like New Vegas. Oh, someone's actually like. Yeah, I already, I already knew that Ron was going to say I think you're good, Ron. My time to shine. Pre order today? Pre order today. No, there's melee kicks and stuff. Holy shit. Good luck. I suppose time will tell, but no matter who this stranger chooses to be, the Halcyon Colony. It will never be the same. I like this song. I was That's just gonna say that. Kind of dig this. It's like a synth, like hail Pop. or light. Yeah. The board, all their lackeys, they're all a bunch of swine. That looks good. That, Dude, looks, that good. looks excellent. Oh, I mean. Please welcome from Ninja Theory, Ronnie Tucker and Dom Matthews. Oh, okay, wow. October they're, they're, they're not even having Phil come out. They're just like, here's Ninja At Theory. At E3 2018, we announced that Ninja Theory had joined Xbox Game Studios. A wow, move that has really given us looking. an incredible boost in achieving the creative <laughs> ambition of our teams. We've started work on a number of new games at the studio, and in the near future, we'll be sharing details on all of these projects. When we joined Xbox Game Studios, we already had a very exciting game several years in the making. Oh, shit. And we're happy to return to E3 <laughs> to share this with you. Girls allergic to new games. As creative director, I'm, allergic I'm to stoked handsome, to be here to share our new game with you guys. It combines two of my gaming passions, third-person action combat and competitive team multiplayer. What? Our technical alpha is kicking off oh, in just this? a couple of weeks, and we'd love for you to sign up, get involved, and tell us what you think. Or if you're here at E3, come and join us for a game. I really, I really hope you guys like it. Check it out. This is Bleeding Edge. Oh, okay. Yeah, did this, this, looks, did this trailer leak? Yeah, no, the, the, the uh, fact that it was a multiplayer, small team competitive game. Is what, and I gotta say, like, this is Holy shit. nothing like their first game. This is gonna what be a the fuck. Yeah, yeah. Dude, those I, guys I, look amazing. I don't the know character what design is fucking cool. What already? The fuck? Damn, that gameplay actually looks oh. pretty fun. Oh my god, tell me it's mostly melee so I can I can play it. <laughs> melee, that's that's the point of the game. They, they oh, that's fucking awesome. Awesome. off. I mean, there's obviously some shooting involved. Yeah, yeah. there's a little. But it's primarily. Not. They said most of the range stuff is going to be either like uh, CC type of things, or um, harassment. Is that character's name El Bastardo? That's fucking awesome. <laughs> that base is hitting hard. That looks cool. Uh, Ninja cool. Theory is exactly the studio to make this, so yeah. this is super good. That looks pretty good. Uh oh. In Exile? <gasps> Maybe. Oh, is this Ori? Maybe. Probably. Even the one person clapping? 
I'm hearing the somber music. This has to be Ori. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be Ori. Oh boy, what a game that first one. That's way to beat that. Oh my God, you got to. God, look how fucking good that looks. Why do they gotta have a spider come out of there, man? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> no! Dude. Jesus. Holy shit. Do you have a bow? That animation looks absurd. Good God. No way. Uh, that was the most wow. impressive looking 30 second trailer I've probably seen in a long time. Holy fuck. That's like Pixar level of fucking animation. Hell yeah, really? Right right right. I'm in. There we go. That looks great. Holy fuck. Is that on the that card? Pre release date? No, it doesn't look like I it. I don't know. I don't know. There's there's multiple stuff that could show up, so might be. Yeah. Dude, they're just okay. They're going game after game after game. That's the way you gotta do it, man. Yeah. This is gonna be a great conference if they keep it this pace. Whoa, a brand new game from the creators of Minecraft? What? Which one? Uh, Which creators not, of Minecraft? Not notch, I'm sure. No, Notch has been completely disassociated with anything Microsoft. Oh, he's already I'm sure he's he's Microsoft. Microsoft. What is this? Oh God, an ARPG? What? Wait. Oh God, Path of Exile. I'm so sorry. You're going out of the <laughs> oh. of Minecraft. What the fuck? What's his face? Oh my Lord. What? Oh, it's multiplayer. Oh. What? By the creators of Minecraft, I would have never guessed. Yeah. Huh. The way that looked, it, I mean, it's getting really close to like Lego. Please welcome games. the head yeah. of Xbox, yeah, Phil Spencer. All right, here's Philly. Old Philly, Philly Spence. The Philster. Fill the pill, you know. Yeah, of course. Right. Of course. Fill the, pill. Fill the pill, need a nose pill? You remember me? <laughs> did the whiskey belly button trick in high school. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We on Team Xbox live for this exact moment. Oh, he's wearing a Psychonauts shirt. The moment call, we chat. get to share the best of our art form here with you in LA, and the moment you get to experience breathtaking new stories, new worlds, and new heroes oh, Cole, you're, for the you're very first again. time. Or for the first time, though. No. This moment isn't just about finding some new games, it's about discovering your new games. Is that better? Yeah, I'll let you know. This decisive moment of discovery is etched in your gaming history. I've got some stuff Alongside set up over there. your every achievement, your every moment, your every new friend. This is why we on Team Xbox are always and will be dedicated to unleashing the next new games for you to discover and love. So whether you're one of the thousands with us here in Microsoft Theater, or one of the billions around the world who play games, 
Welcome to E3 2019. Where Sony is not. This yeah, right, right now is the single most creative and energizing time in gaming history. Games and gamers together now have the sheer magnitude to be a significant unifying force for the world. The expanding universe of gaming has opened a the new era yeah! of creative possibility. With more games, I'm a unifying force. more creators, and more industry players than ever before. And gamers were everywhere. In under two decades, gamers rise up. the number of players in the world has more than tripled. Over two billion of us now play games in every region and on every continent. And with new technological leaps, we get mm. to play we go. whatever we want, with whomever we want, and wherever we want. Google Destiny Science sign up. Uh, shout out to you. On yeah. Team Xbox, <laughs> every <laughs> decision <laughs> is guided by our belief that gaming is for everyone. Damn, My team and I are single minded in yeah, our resolve that in. to bring everyone yeah, the games they want. Shade. To connect everyone to play wherever the they life. want. He said the word and connect. And to empower everyone to play wherever they <laughs> I'm waiting they for him want. to be like, anyone who's anyone is at E3 this year. Right, yeah. <laughs> this is why we keep innovating hardware and services. It's why we're uniting communities through cross-play. And why, it's why we're investing with new distinctive creators. Above all, gaming is for you. This is why we scour the world for your next new games. This today is the largest showcase of games on any stage, anywhere this year. That's kind of the subtle so jab, a little bit. Minecraft Dungeons counts as a new IP, right? Today, uh, from the thousands of games in know, development maybe. across Xbox One and Windows PC, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and we're say highlighting yeah. 60 games for you. Holy shit. 60. Damn. Including 14 games from Xbox Game Studios Ooh. and over 30 games premiering in Xbox Game Pass. Damn. Premiering, dude, that's fucking awesome. In addition mm -hmm. to showcasing all of these games over the show, we'll also announce what's next at Xbox Game Studios. Sharing our expansive plans for streaming and of course, revealing more about our next new console. All right, I'm excited. So thank you for joining us today. Let's jump in. Xbox on Windows PC, okay. This is what we saw yesterday in the EA Play still. Let's see if it looks any better. Ready to do this? Hey! Who are you? Huh. My boy Forrest. Yeah. Got a name? Cal Kestis. So Guerrero. I'm here on Jedi business. Jedi are dead. Not all of them. And is that actually Forrest's voice? Yeah, that's him. Yeah. 100%. Awesome. Awesome. This so someone was saying that... There you go, another spider. When they were talking about this yesterday, that it has, like, a bonfire mechanic in it. Has to play. Like Dark Souls S. The Jedi are not yet lost. Hope is not yet lost. That looked a lot better than it did yesterday. Because it was a hype trailer, not silly yeah, okay. gameplay. You all right? No, we are not doing that again. I... It's so sad I if you know how soft it is. I just like it. Just looks okay to me. That definitely looked better than yesterday, though. Would you agree? 
world premiere. Yeah, Man. but I mean, yesterday, the things that really kind of stuck out were kind of like the very linear level we saw, the, the kind of, I don't know. Yeah. We, we'll talk about that more later. What the fuck is this? What is this? Is Alan Wake? Uh, Please be Alan Wake. Alan, was Alan Wake first person? No. no. Wait a minute. No. What the? That filming game. Outlast? Outlast? Like Outlast 3. No. Outlast. I remember things from Outlast. No, that was Alan Wake, wasn't it? Didn't they just show him right there? That was, like, that was the, the, uh... Peter Shannon, a nine-year-old boy, went missing on Saturday. This afternoon, the authorities are organizing a search in the Black Hills Forest. Okay, Bullet. Let's find this kid. Wait up, Bullet! Bullet! Yeah, vegetation. Where am I? Alright, well, I won't be playing this game. You're missing out. <laughs> Yo, this is looking awesome so far. Yeah. Wait, pre-order this... today okay with Xbox Game Pass? Oh, yeah. at launch. At... Sorry. What the fuck? This is looking out waxy. <sighs> Maybe something totally new? What the fuck Who is... Are... Oh, I know what it is. Blair Witch. Kind of looked like it a little bit. Okay, bullet. Let's find this kid. Bet me. It's Blair Witch. Yep. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. How about Look. that? That looks fucking what terrifying. You know? What the fuck? Did, 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 did not the first movie terrify you when you first saw it? It terrified the fuck out of me. I never cause saw I... it because it terrified me. Just a goddamn. <laughs> Dude. Oh Dude. shit, here we go. Side oh, there we go. Oh. Everybody shut up! I have to order that sweatshirt now. <laughs> v, my man, you made it. You blowing up all over the news. Are you alone? I just want the money. You got the chip? All right, start her up, bug. Why don't you go to the bathroom, wash up, we gonna be with you in a minute. Wow, oh, come on, man. Your neck, it's a mess. This guy looks like Fat Stevie Wonder. Initiating combat mode. Go! Destination confirmed. Woo That's what I'm talking about! All right, in and out, We're rich! Oh, we are going to the major leagues, Jack. Right. <laughs> Jack? Oh, oh s***. No. no, 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 no. Okay, oh. get to a clinic now. Mr. Wells' condition is critical. Go! Immediate medical help okay. is required. Just, just hold on. Just... Hey, hey, just think about all the good that we're gonna have, huh? I'm sorry. Does this have prior lore? This game? No. Okay. No. Guys, admit the story, not the game world. Cyberpunk is based on Cyberpunk. Right, yeah, yeah, that's what I, I meant. Yes, yeah, the game world. Just take the f chip decks. Every corporal cop in this city is gonna be blasting down these doors after what you and your psycho friend did. We didn't need all this. Attention, damn it. Mm. 
Baraka wins. Holy shit! Oh, fuck. He's a fool. Oh. Oh. Okay. I was gonna say, none of that was gameplay, right? No. Wake the f up, samurai. We have a city to burn. <gasps> Get the f what? What the fuck? What the fuck? He's there! What? What? Get the fuck out of here! Please welcome Keanu Reeves. What? Oh, man. I mean, I don't know if Hideo Kojima could come out and take a dump on the stage to be more hyped than this. <laughs> Are you kidding? That's fucking crazy! How did this happen? Hello, Los Angeles! E3! Yeah! All right. Good to see you. Thank you. All right. All right. I'm just here to promote the new Bill and Ted. I gotta talk to you about something. I mean, I gotta talk to you about something. CD Project Red. What the Cyberpunk 2077. Dude. All right. Unbelievable. A while back, the guys from CD Project Red approached me and asked me to be a part of their new project, Cyberpunk 2077. They were going on and on about how they'd create this vast open world with a branching storyline, how you'd be able to customize your character through in-game choices. And it's not something I knew before, but I was excited by. And I'm always drawn to fascinating stories. Yeah. Cyberpunk <laughs> is set in a metropolis of the future. Where body modification <laughs> has become an obsession. You play as an outlaw, an enhanced mercenary working in the sleazy underbelly of this city. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but let me tell you. The feeling of he looks of being genuinely there, happy of walking the streets of the future is really going to be is. breathtaking. That's true. You're <laughs> You're breathtaking. You're all breathtaking. All right, all right, all right. So, I guess I gotta finish this. So tell me. Uh, man, if I got to interview him. Do you guys want to know um, when there's uh, when it, it. the release date? Oh. Yeah. All right. Then check this out. Mr. Han sent me. Am I right for the job? Okay, I'm in. Here we go. Here's some actual gameplay. You have gone through to the other side. Let's do this. Oh. There you go. April 16th, 2020. Awesome. Awesome. Man. Oh man! Woo! Wow! That's, that's how you awesome. fucking kill a goddamn premiere. Reeves. I feel, I feel bad you, for whoever's up now. Yeah, what do you put after that? Yeah. Fuck this game! Just break out. Oh yeah, what? It doesn't matter with this. Keanu, oh. Keanu, come back! Well, no, you gotta this follow it up you with follow up. Oh, this is you have to. You have to follow it up with something like to cleanse the palate. Oh, it's a the hype palette. Keanu fucking Reeves was out there, man. I know, and that's what everybody is doing what you're doing right now, JP. And they're not like they're like, fuck whatever's on TV right fuck now. Fuck whatever's you guys on TV right now. Fucking kill me. <laughs> and everybody's tweeting right now. That's what everybody's doing. What the fuck? 
And by the way, if you're wondering, if you're telling us to shush, or you're like telling us to be quiet, shit, it's like this is not the channel. Go to the fucking Xbox channel if you don't want us talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This looks incredible, though. It does. Yeah. I'm still coming down from the cyberpunk stuff. Same. I didn't even see. Was that a game? I didn't. What happened? Did I missed something. Whoa! Oh, I know this. Is this Battletoads? <laughs> I, I was gonna say I know this it. fucking music. This is the pause music for Battletoads. Yeah, that song's fucking hype. You know the worst thing about that cyberpunk release date? That comes out a week before my wedding. <laughs> well, you, you can always postpone it. <laughs> Back or move it oh up. Oh god, these levels! Oh flat! Oh god! Oh trigger! Oh man! Contact! Oh. I bet my boy TMR is hype as fuck. Someone just said in chat, so JT wedding is Yeah, no, we might, I might, there might need to be a conversation. <laughs> what is, what the fuck? It looks like that game Zeke was talking about an Indie Sunday. Yeah, but with a lot more money. <laughs> and color. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I don't know about oh. this game. It looks it looks sketchy. <laughs> Thanks, Chad. Oh my god. <laughs> that was Chad. That was all Chad. What? What's it called? RPG time? The Legend of Right, I think is what that was called. So uh just an interesting little thing here. If you go what? to you go to the CDPR website to pre-order Cyberpunk. Yeah. You can select Steam or GOG, and under GOG it says, "Buy directly from us. 100% of your money will go to CD Projekt Red." Huh. This is my segment. That's how to drive. Hey, hey, Rami. For no reason at all. Do you know the the, the devs of any of these? Uh, of all of them so far. I, I think that counts for three. I'm gonna put a mark right there. <laughs> this is so great. Is so I fucking great. love that game. Actually, all of them so far have been great. Very. Crosscode is incredible. If you haven't played it, go play that. I played it. It was a little maybe. It was a little wordy for me, like to start with, but all of this is good. Whoa. I look cool. He looks like Reaper. <laughs> it's, yeah. Oh, it can tell. What? Or the Rings. Uh, CRPG. Or not CRPG. Excuse me. Whoa. Um, Totem Teller. Totem Teller is so pretty. So many games. Yeah. Well, what they say? It said 34 games when they release will be available for you on the, with the Game Pass. Dude, you can awesome. spend like a week just playing games off the Game Pass on Twitch. Yeah. From the looks of it. Please welcome head of Xbox partnerships, Sarah Bond. 
I Bond. Still, I still am thinking Paragon. about Bond. Yeah, oh, dude, I know. <laughs> I'm sitting here trying to get the collector's edition. You can't order it yet. It's driving me nuts. <laughs> Let All me know when that whisper me games, when that goes live. You just saw then, will yeah. premiere on Xbox Game Pass. No, 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 no. Because then chat will one. Know. And then we'll announce once we're good. At Xbox, our passion is to help you find and play the games that you love through creation, curation, and discovery. The ultimate expression of that passion is Xbox Game Pass. My team travels the globe, seeking out fan favorites and hidden gems you said you said a and craft partnerships with their creators uh, so that yeah, you can yeah, discover yeah. your next favorite game. Mind-blowing experiences, epic adventures, and iconic characters, all for you to explore. It has been awesome to see the record-breaking success developers have had in Xbox Game Pass, introducing their games to new players and creating lifelong fans. Since launch, we have tripled the number of partners in Game Pass, adding more games from more genres, platformers, RPG, adventure, sports, puzzles, and more every single month. And of course, every Xbox Game Studios title you see today will premiere in Game Pass day one. That's really cool. We are thrilled to announce new titles coming to Xbox Game Pass on console today, including Batman Arkham Knight, Metro Exodus, <laughs> Hollow Knight, and Borderlands The Handsome Collection. Amazing games that you can start playing today. Our mission at Xbox is for you to be able to play any game with anyone, anywhere. And we know for many of you that means PC. That is why <laughs> last month we announced Xbox Game Pass for PC. Turn your echo is back. I've had muted for the past like, 30 seconds. Today, you know what? I'm gonna put on the my Game Pass journey yeah. on PC begins. Now, PC players can discover their next favorite game with Xbox Game Pass. We have curated over 100 games cool. just for PC, including favorites like Emperor Rome and Football Manager 2019. <laughs> Imperative? And for the first time on PC, starting with Halo Reach, the entire Master Chief Collection. Does that have a date tied to it yet? <laughs> Woo! We are thrilled to share that Xbox Game Pass for PC launches in open beta today. There you go. Okay. Cool. Oh. So they haven't said that yet, and I probably wasn't supposed to say that yet. <laughs> Wait, does that mean Halo just launched? I don't know what I'm supposed to say anymore. Okay, yeah, be careful. So yeah, it looks like they're pushing the hell out of Game Pass. Are there still a lot of players for ARK? I think uh, so. ARK does still have a pretty big community. Makes me wonder yeah. though, remember what happened to Dauntless when they went free on consoles? Free, yeah. although it's Game Pass, but I mean, this, that could completely revitalize everything. Man, we still haven't seen, have, they haven't done any first party stuff yet. No Halo, no Gears, no Fable, no Forza, except for the other, the new developers, I guess. Yeah, exactly. They mentioned they were going to Xbox, Xbox Game Pass Game for PC soon. is here now. Try it out by downloading the all-new Xbox app on Windows. And if you want it all, we have created a membership just for you. Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Oh, God. Uh -oh. And so it begins. You get everything. 
Xbox Game Pass for console with over 100 great games, Xbox Live oh, Gold, an unrivaled gaming for. community, <laughs> and now Xbox Game Pass for PC at no additional charge. Wow, okay. Now, wait a second. Okay. Isn't Xbox Live already like 10 bucks a month? I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, plus $5 for the and Game Pass. And because okay. it's E3, no, no everyone can jump in and play today for $1. Jesus, the ultimate game pass for one buck. That's what I was talking about. Now go discover yeah. your next That's favorite game. Nuts. World. I still can't believe you can play Metro Exodus for a dollar. Yeah, I bet you this <laughs> is Gears <laughs> Five. Alone. I bet you this might be Gears Five. Or just have an idea, maybe. Real time 4K. I didn't get it texted to me or anything. What the fuck? Uh, that must be some new shit. What? Steep two. Steep two. Wait, if if this isn't Gears, Light? then she's really far ahead. How much of a delay are they on? Flight simulator? Maybe. Holy yeah. yeah! Nice job! There you go. Is that flight simulator? That it's looks like so a good. Microsoft flight simulator. I mean, that, yeah. Oh, yeah! But if you well, use like, Google uh, Maps and, like, does it well, that's kind of awesome. Like Euro Truck Simulator, but like Airport Simulator or something. Yeah, it basically Microsoft Flight Sims have been out for years, and they've also always they're super technical. Like all the planes are real planes. Like it, it's yeah, damn, like that's that gorgeous looking. Yeah, it is, man. Wow. This is my childhood. That's my country. <laughs> that is absolutely stunning. What if Look at all those buildings. What if that's one to one with the Earth? That's what I think they were saying with the Google Maps at the beginning. It's all based on Google Maps data. That's your app. It's exactly there in real life. Wow. I didn't know I would get hyped right from there. a fucking flight simulator game. Dude, look at that. There's no numbers after it. They're yeah. like rebooting it. Yeah. That's cool. Man. That was really pretty. Do you remember a time when armies were built and powerful warming? cities collapsed? No, no. When the smallest of choices echoed through the pages Sounds of like history. Sounds like Ian Hill. Oh, you think it's it Fable? Age no, Age of, no, of Empires. Empires. Okay, I was going to say. Is definitive, yeah. <laughs> I don't think that. I don't know if that's Fable. Yeah, they they talked about this last year. That looks really cool. This is the one that one that runs in a browser, right? Mm, or can run in a browser? No. Is that the... I think that was the other game. To be fair, it looks like it could run on an iPad. Yeah. Cool. I was always more of an Age Vampires one fan. <laughs> Seriously. Is this Gears? Razors? Oh. I see you at a donkey's age. Welcome to beautiful Colorado. Home to the Purple Mountains Master <laughs> of the Rockies. Yes. Hike is through this... colorful canyons. What is this? Get up close this to the bristle with a wild and woolly wild ice. No. This game had that no. much humor in it? Not. Sample <laughs> home cooked <laughs> yellow clown. <laughs> Where the love goes. <laughs> I like it already. Visit Colorado Springs. Spider, oh, wait! No. So oh my God! God. Maybe they are still in this. No, this is that game that I was that I was I think that I was talking about. Uh, that kind of went under the radar. Meet new people. They have like new they like friends. old west like it's like Colorado wild wild west with like spiders. Who characters and friendly I think faces it's uh, everywhere you look. No, I don't know. By the way, see our from beautiful airport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they Wasteland 2 has humor. Looks like a CRPG. So don't be shy. Colorado's waiting for you. <laughs> first round's on me. Uh, first round's on, on you. Oh, Wasteland 3. Huh. Yeah, that another seems game I was very about. different than Wasteland 2. Co, how are we feeling about the new comic of Wasteland? Please welcome, uh, head of Xbox Game Studios. Uh, Matt the game is good on Twitter, bro. That guy's last name is Booty. I love it. 
best name. Games are at the heart of our mission. Over the last year, we added seven Ooh. new game development Give studios to Xbox. Give him, give him give him it's fantastic <laughs> to see some of these studios already sharing new games on our E3 stage, and there's more to come. I have the privilege of working with some of the best studios around the globe. And for me, great studios are about people, teams, and ideas. Our success comes down to one thing, creating great games that players love. And great games come from great developers. That's why I'm honored today to announce that joining Xbox Studios oh. is Double Fine wow. Productions. Whoa. 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 That's not expected. Double Fine has been a beacon of creativity and spirit in game development for almost 20 years with classic games like Psychonauts, ah, no Brutal Legend, and Broken Age. I'm looking forward to Double Fine That's joining why he was wearing that Xbox shirt. and yeah. seeing what we create together. Please join me in welcoming the founder and president Attention. of Double Fine Productions, Tim Schaefer. Dude, their first party development groups are insane. Oh, uh, just quick, quick little news. Apparently, if you buy the Game Pass Ultimate for a buck, it converts your Hello. current live subscription as well. Thank you. Huh, thank you okay. so much. And if you have nine that, months remaining, so you have nine months of Ultimate. Xbox Game Studios. And I'm here to personally reassure you, Matt, I don't know what you've heard, but I'm a team player. Whatever <laughs> you need from Double Fine, we'll make for you. Uh, Halo stuff, <laughs> uh, Forza stuff, Excel stuff, whatever you want, we are there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tim, we just want you to make great games. Oh, that's such a relief because I was totally lying. <laughs> In that case, we brought a brand new trailer for Psychonauts 2. Take a look if you dare. Yay, Psychonauts! Oh, Please here we it. go. Oh shit, my video is way ahead of your guys. I, I noticed. I'm just, are you on slash Xbox? What are you on? Yeah. yeah that's, my what name I, that's what I'm on. Is Raz. And today is my first official day on the job. Maybe hit pause and play when you have a second. I don't want to miss on anything. A Must be There's no spoilers. Come on, looking Spotting. for me? <laughs> this game was such a total mind, complete yeah. bizarre. I can't wait to see two. No. <laughs> Mia, the mission is falling apart. We've lost control of Lobato. I put the old egg in the box in the basket in the basket. Come on, show me the milkman. I'll be happy. I won't tell. I won't Give me the milkman. I promise. No, please. Cool. Very cool. More psychonauts. Let's do it. Yeah. World premiere. Here's a work. Yeah, maybe this oh. appears. Wait, what? Wait, what? Star Wars. Definitely not get more. Uh, Those Legos, it's Star Wars Legos. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Alright, I'm gonna use this time to pause. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. There we go. I was thinking like TIE Fighter or something, then no, it got deflated very quickly. Huh? I love the Lego games. Well, they're not bad. I've but never, I've never played them. They're very good. Yeah. Some of them are like actually incredible games, and most of them are just very good. Huh? Wait, they're did it just like... say all nine films? <laughs> yeah, the Skywalker Saga. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you yeah, off. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in. I haven't seen the videos past episode one, so maybe this is my chance to play them. There you go. <laughs> Wait, what? Dragon Ball? I, God damn it! Something about Dragon Ball. I'm I'm buying it. It's Bob. That's weird. Goku! Hayaku, come 
<laughs> uh, this is bathroom time for me. <laughs> oh! The last one of these was two, right? So this would be three? Is this Xenoverse? Is that what you're thinking? I mean, it looks like just Dragon Ball, to be honest. It looks like Dragon Ball Z. This just looks like the story. This is like the actual story. Please be more than a freezing saga. If so, this trailer is going to be a little long. Project Z Action RPG. Okay, so that was announced a while back, but I don't think we've seen anything. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Oh, so that's the official name. There you go. That's I, cool. I might actually play that. Yeah. I think it would be kind of cool. Yeah. World I only pre -ordered, I pre ordered it six times in the trailer. <laughs> Annapurna. Oh, there we go. Oh. Rami knows what this is, right? This is an incredible game. I have a surprise for you. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> you want to guess what it is? Hmm. This is an outfit for a newborn. You bought it this morning. You wanted to surprise me. I'm sorry. You're pregnant. Oh, is it Groundhog you know? Day? I know because uh. you already gave it to me. This has happened before. What are you talking about? What's going on? Someone is coming. He's going to hurt us. He says you killed your father. I need to know what happened. Why are you doing this? My father died. Died of a heart attack? No. I, 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 I didn't have anything to do with... Any second now, he's going to knock on that door. Help me. This isn't happening. This can't be happening. Police! Open up! That's him. Did you call the police? We have a warrant. Please open the door. I didn't do anything! We're here to help. Don't listen to him. I'm your only chance. Open the door, right now! You know me. I love you. You have to believe me. Stop! No! You're under arrest! No. Hey! <gasps> You're home. What are you doing? Are you okay? <laughs> I'm totally, I'm totally fucking into it. Yo, I am on board. Yeah, this is cool shit. How cool? Twelve minutes. Awesome. Damn, that looks really interesting. Okay, that was a hell of a trailer. I just got done with Outer Wilds. That's Outer Wilds 2. <laughs> that, okay, that was cool. The game is incredible and has been in development for so long. Such focus. Huh. It's going to be very good. Stop with the cell shading, please. No, I'm no, never right. I have never liked cell shading. I'm, I'm so crazy. Crazy. What the? So just as. It looks like Tokyo Jungle. I oh, know, it's way to the woods. It looks like Tokyo Jungle. <laughs> I love how someone said you're wrong about that I hate cell shading. You're right, I do like it. I'm sorry. I got you there. <laughs> got me. I mean, I got you to mention it on stream, so it got you good. Really. <laughs> huh. Okay. Oh, has this been teased before, I guess? Yeah. Yeah, it's not new. Um, 
Anthony is also like a kid, like actually a kid. Is this the gears? Oh, this Baldur Skate Trainer looks weird. <laughs> Yeah, it's totally gears, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's gears. That's the main character. Yeah, Billy Eilish. Sorry, Eilish. Sorry. Ooh, I'm digging this too. Oh, we got a Kerrigan thing going on? She was major. I I can answer that, but it's major spoilers from Gears Four. Don't worry about it. Previous, I may actually play them for this. Seem pretty cool. Gears Five, bound by blood. Nice. From the coalition. Oh, here we go. Please okay. welcome. Wait, from your head. Co, from, from your this. community. I, huh. yeah, from your team. I don't know. You're working with Xbox. Thanks, everyone. This guy's one of my subs. We're excited by the way. to announce that Gears Five <laughs> is releasing on September What's the streak? 10th. What's the streak? 30 months, uh, 60 months. Oh, September 10th. That's fine. And if you want to play four months? days nice. early, you nice. can. With our Ultimate Edition or membership in the newly announced Xbox Game Pass That's Ultimate. Pretty soon. It's three months out. With Gears of War 4, we wanted to earn your trust. But with Gears 5, we want to push the envelope by doing oh, new things it. never seen in a Gears game before. All all right, we'll right. tell you all Look, about it's it this hard. summer. Graphic design is tough. In July, yeah, join us for our Versus Multiplayer Tech Test, where you'll be one of the first to play our all That's new competitive game type, Arcade. In August at Gamescom, go hands on with the all new horde mode and see how character abilities the all new can turn the mode? tide on the battlefield. I guess they redid it or something. I don't know. In September, we return to the biggest Gears campaign ever, where we'll explore more of Kate's harrowing journey and celebrate our launch on September 10th. Oh, we're in June. But what are we talking about today? Right. <laughs> today, it's a right. brand like new way to got, fight the swarm. My Keanu high is Escape, exciting. You play yeah, it's starting to go away. It's starting to go away a little bit. You and your squad we bring infiltrate back the over? hive. Plant the bomb and escape with your he life. He just runs out and he's like, <laughs> we all know that I don't know a good just offense. <laughs> it's everything you love about Gears oh, turned up to 11. Gameplay? What the? Oh, God. They created the bad guys. What the fuck is oh. happening? Could this Keanu be the big Reeves. prop? <laughs> yeah, Keanu Reeves goes back out. Yeah, it's just he Keanu and a Gears cosplay. Leave. What is happening? The new hitman, hopefully. Uh-oh, the camera. The camera's going crazy. What? The camera just went under the stage. Yeah. Are they bringing back Don Matrick? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Doom, right? Oh, Jim, did the power go? Oh, okay. They attacked, and we lost everything. No, I think this is just more gears. Everything except the need yeah, for it, revenge. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's not Doom. This might look like a Doom's similar, about four hours from now, chat. Not. Trust me, it's going to be the only thing there. You'll know. It's an invasion. Yeah, how oh, many hours? That seems like a, like a lot of effort to go through to start a trailer. It was very weird. <laughs> yeah. Also, come on now, this is disgusting. I had a peanut butter sandwich like an hour ago. I guess Baldur Skate really made an impression. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? What is that? What is that? This is 100% gears. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Look at the bio. Yeah, oh, this I guess, is yeah. Cool. I'm too old for this shit. He's dead. Never mind. Dave. Post advantage on the gun, he got the shot off. I, I, I. 
Nice crazy train drop. I think you're about eight seconds ahead of us, FYI. Oh shit, am I? I'm so sorry. I mean, oh, it's God. fine. It made sense. I don't know if I... The song's a little interesting. Oh, now I'm right in sync. Oh. I'm just waiting for the DJ Khaled. <laughs> Another one! Another one! And they couldn't get a newer song. <laughs> Probably the new horde mode, I guess. Hey, they can chainsaw people in half still. Escape? What? Oh, that's okay. That's the new game mode. Gotcha. That was the game mode, yeah. I hope you enjoyed your taste of escape. An aggressive three player co op experience. How did you get down there? Perfect for your living room couch. But it's not just about busting hives, you can build them too and challenge your friends with the experiences you create. And tonight, join me on Mixer as we challenge Super these Jesus three Warmaker? WWE superstars, Xavier Mixer. Woods, AJ Styles, and Tyler Breeze, to survive a gameplay deep dive from right here in the hive. Are you guys for these at like home, popping? Are they for the next playing? two days, you and Control your friends sticks? can play in select Microsoft stores. So good luck out running the swarm, and we'll see you on the leaderboard. It's like electric. It's supposed oh, to be like electric. For anyone who pre-orders like or plays within the first week, off. we've got something special just for you. Yeah, if you go back and you, you'll see like electric pops in the background, so that's it coincided with that. Gotcha. Like this, a uh, a pager. What is happening on this? The stage has gone crazy. I'm gonna count that. Oh, as a big Terminator! Thing. That looked like Terminator. Wait a second. What? More gear. <laughs> what? Wow, that's rude. Wait, is this gonna? What? what? What is going on here? What the fuck? <laughs> it is Terminator. What? What? <laughs> you're right, uh, I thought I was just. Is that like a idiot. multiplayer <laughs> character pack? Is that what that is? Okay, bring Arnold Schwarzenegger out. Bring him out. Yeah. Bring him out. Yeah, yeah Arnold out there. Yep, oh Arnold. man, Keanu came out at the same time. Ugh. Uh oh, here's the new Xbox shit. <laughs> oh no, no, the controller here. Yeah. Oh great, here's oh, another $300. I'm gonna have to Oh, it's go a new Elite this. controller? It's more Elite than ever? Bad. It's the world's most advanced Bad. controller? You got more advanced than this right here? I mean... Or elite is so fucking terrible. What are you talking about? This is the best controller ever. It is, no, but I'm just saying that, that slogan is bad. Oh, 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 oh. I just realized right? I can never tell if JP is excited or sarcastic excited. I'm actually into it. That also means I'm a good actor. Thank you very much. But yes, I'm generally excited for this. You're a tough read. I, I have like five or six of these. I've broken three of them. I fucking love these I mean, controllers. Yeah, it's they the are the controller. Yeah. Oh, wow, different profile. That's cool. I think I'm going to try one of these. I tried the last version and I. Ooh, dude, like fucking about time. Yeah. Oh shit! Oh, thank fucking god! I don't have, oh, cool. can I buy hours this? Wait, I'll probably get one for free now. There goes my money. Who will? Three hundred bucks. I'm gonna guess. No. One forty-nine ninety-nine. That's how much. Oh my. Okay. Xbox.com. Okay. Right now. Man. I'm there. Oh, here we go. Dying Light oh, 2. Oh. I didn't. Ex I thought Square Enix had this. What? What? When my father saved my life, he told me never to forget who I am, hey, it's Matthew, where I so. come from. But in this place, nobody even wants to know my name. 
Getting attached is deadly. Because when darkness comes, I might be gone. Oh, God, I love that movement. The virus tore society apart, but I won't let it turn me into an animal. Staying alive became the essence of our existence, yet life must be more than just survival. Every day, the disease tries to crush us and make us forget who we are, but I keep fighting. My name is Aiden, and I am infected. Oh, man. Yes. I wish we could see. I think we're going to see more at Square. Yeah, though. yeah. They'll probably have gameplay at Square, I would think. That's where I thought that was going to be. That, that's a surprise that it popped World up. World premiere. Dude, First I feel like we've been watching this for like 10 favorite. hours. Like, I, <laughs> there's a lot going on right now. I hope they do it. Oh, here's the new car. They brought a car on stage. The that car. might be a bingo there's thing. Check your bingo. Yep. Please announce that you actually have good music in the new Forza game. I'm fucked. The bingo I was closest on had... Cyberpunk releases in 2020 and 2019, so fuck you, Barry. Fuck. Barry didn't make that, my mods made that. Oh, I thought it was a Barry thing. Also, you're a mod, Never so you out. can go fuck yourself, Zeke. Happening? How about that? Barry. <laughs> it's Lego cars? It's Lego cars. <laughs> That's custom. Lego Forza? Hey, look, Hot, the Hot Wheels DLC was the best fucking DLC for Forza ever, so... Everything is cool. It's like the song from Lego, right? The Lego movie yeah. that everyone loved. Yeah, yeah. awesome. Though. Not cool. What? Oh, dying light. The fact that that's probably what it looks like when you play the game is a little astonishing. Is that Miley's thing? I don't think so. That's Lonely Island, I believe. <laughs> it is. Really? Yeah, it actually is. I'm pretty sure that's Lonely Island. Like the, the dick in the box, guys? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything is awesome. Please welcome Ralph Fulton. That's a, uh... Oh my god, the car's is made that out of Lego. Is Lego? <laughs> Okay, that's so, actually cool. <laughs> combine McLaren's passion for design with about half a million of Lego's legendary bricks. You get this incredible life-size Lego Speed Champions McLaren Senna. Uh, combine the beauty and freedom of Horizon with the playful fun of Lego, you get the Forza Horizon 4 Lego Speed Champions expansion. You will drive this Senna and more Lego Speed bucks. Champions Thanks, cars Chuck. In an entirely no, new world, I'm packed I'm with I'm inventive that's the same new one. challenges, new areas to explore, and loads of bricks to smash. Yeah. The Forza yeah. Horizon 4 LEGO Speed Champions expansion launches this week. I'll see you there. Hey, Peter, you said you found a pre-order for that controller? It's on uh, chat saying it is. I think Zeke's looking at it right now. I see Xbox Elite Wireless Controller for $149.99, but I don't know if it's the new one or not. Uh, I think the new one is called the Elite 2. Yeah, this is the pop cap, the by the way, Gears thing. I think this is currently in Alpha or Beta in Australia or something like that. What was that Z or Rami? They said check it out order at nextbooks.com and it's not there. Well, they might have forgotten to put it live. Wow, Chad is really loving that one. Yeah, they're into um, that. 
Yeah. Can we invert the hide meter just for fun? <laughs> oh, it's a really well-made game. By the way, I'm not sure if I can say this, but it, I'm going to anyways. Uh, immediately following this, Twitch's gonna have a Baldur's Gate 3 segment, so we might watch that uh, <laughs> while they yep. do that. Do what? Just going out the yeah. yeah. Are you I mean, I can't yeah. confirm her. Okay. My Zeke, if, if you can't confirm find or deny that, are you I on that? Knew. No, my okay. mission. Find I'm not on the first I've segment of the day, met. which may or may not be Baldur's Gate 3. He hasn't okay. radioed in days. He hasn't been seen since the outbreak. The last time I heard his voice. The last place he was seen was in Trumbull Valley. Valley. I've only heard whispers. I've only heard legend. Of unseen horrors. Wow, everybody is down on this shit. Here, we are the many. To be honest, uh, State of K2 we was not super well received. It was not. I agree. For so long, I was just surviving. I actually like now played it are counting for on me. I think four or five streams, and uh, this is where my even when I was done, I was kind of like that was. Yeah. So yep. This is where my story <laughs> yep. could begin. I thought we had seen everything. We haven't even seen Halo or any new Xbox. We ain't yet. seen nothing yet. How long is this? I don't know. I think maybe another 40 minutes, maybe, or 30, 30 minutes. So far, I mean, I got to admit, they've just been like game, 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 game. Like, haven't been a bad conference. Do you guys know who Major Nelson is? Yes. Yeah. Okay. He's the uh, yeah. Xbox Live Fortnite. Yeah. He's, okay. he's, he's a big deal. Yeah. He posted that's 179.99, World and it goes, premiere. it launches on November 4th. Or the nice. Elite. Okay. Oh, November 4th. Wow. Sega. Wait. Oh, Judgment? No. This. What? Wait, wait, wait a second. No way. What? No way! What? Is this fantasy fan star? Is this fucking fantasy star? I've played the absolute hell out of that game growing up. Huh. Dude, they're putting the word crossplay on fucking everything. Of course. Yeah. Make it a thing. Oh, Make it normal. You know? Yeah. They're, I mean, you're not wrong. The more the better. It's crazy that crossplay has just become such a huge, like, marketing point. Thank God. Yeah. I'm the developer. Thank oh, God. Free to play. Free to play. Hey guys, if they're promoting crossplay, you can assume this probably will be on PC. Yeah. <laughs> Let's be honest. Somebody's not gonna allow it. Come on now. A never ending quest. <laughs> Huh. You're gonna grind, work. motherfucker. Yeah! Oh, Fantasy Star Online 2. There we go. Cool. Spring 2020. Powered All by right. Azure. What? So, that's the second time we've seen that. Do you know what Azure is? Is that their streaming Those stuff? Those of you who have played Fantasy Star I know say it's a framework. that this game had influenced many of the most popular games today. So with Microsoft great delight, Azure we welcome site. Sega back to our huh. stage and Fantasy Star back huh. Wait, on it's like, Xbox. It's their streaming stuff, I think. As we cloud said, service. our goal Stuff. on Team Xbox Ooh. is to bring you the it's world's like AWS best games. Competitor. Meeting with developers, playing their games, guy to the right and introducing Phil, you to Xbox. their games. <laughs> These are the best parts of my job. Hey, he's wearing a gaming shirt. Back at okay. E3 cool. 2017, guy. when I first Jesus. met with the <laughs> creators of this next game, they shared their ambition. Fucking Look at those guys in the back. To bring their massively popular game it, yeah. with its passionate community of 650 million PC players to the entire world. Uh, I don't see her. I'm happy to announce our partnership with the legendary team at Smilegate. Their approach what? to game design demonstrates sheer what? creative. I'm sorry, openness. who? Are they a Chinese? The next Rammy? year, Rammy? you'll Rammy? discover the a newest entry in this landmark franchise. <laughs> On Did he smile? Did he enjoy for that? For the very first time, only on Xbox. This is Crossfire X. 
Is that a Chinese game? World. What? What's yeah. going on? Am I supposed to know these oh turtles? God, they're bringing, no, they're bringing that classic yeah. game with the steel balls to the fucking Xbox. They're from Korea. Oh, South Korea. Korea? South Korea. Yeah. South Korea. Okay. Not yeah, no, we're not. Okay, we're not working with the North Korea. Okay, good. Good. I almost got my pitchfork, but you know, we're good. Remember, this There's actually North Korean games cool. to do. This is really suspenseful. This is cool so far, man. I mean, that's corporate America, really. I think so. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Console Wars got real weird this year. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty big missile. Yeah, that was. What is happening? There's so much military in there. What kind of game is this? I don't know. <laughs> That guy's just shooting a gun because he's having fun. <laughs> Maybe it's that kind of game. Yeah. Can we fight him the water? Chat saying it's just a CS clone in Korea, South Korea. <laughs> this trailer does not make it look like a Yeah, CS this is clone. some. <laughs> what? Crossfire! Crossfire! Oh, Crossfire! Crossfire X. Huh. Mm, okay. I guess that's how you can yeah, I, become relevant. I mean, I think it, there. Yeah. I think it's not World the original premiere. Crossfire because that's from like 2010 or something. What is this? I like planets. Uh, oh my god, this new Tales game. I'm actually excited for this. I'm a nerd. Let's just let it get it get it out there. JRPGs. You played the hell out of the last are one. Are pretty right? good and this looks gorgeous. Like look at that fucking shit. Oh, that's Halo. It is very pretty. Oh, <gasps> fuck. It was all a lie. I'm, I'm out. Oh, well, <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> uh, uh, when you say Tales, Tales, Tales what? Tales of um, is like a series. Yeah. It's like Tales oh, of like... X and then X. Well, Tales of Exilia is a game. But yeah. Okay. Tales of Berseria, Tales of Berseria, like Vesperia, yeah. All, that all the same world, though. No, no. Each like game is different. Fantasy. It's like Final Fantasy, yeah, where each game is different. Holy That's shit. what I meant. That looks incredible. That looks Yo, so this, this JRPG. Cool. Rise up, gamers! Games a little bit... JP, <laughs> weren't the last Tales games a little bit more, like, uh, anime? Like, kind of cutesy-ish? Yeah, 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 yeah. What does it look like, though? Yeah. Yeah, dude. That I wish that didn't cool. leak, man. That would have been that would have been hype as fuck right now, but I already know about it. Maybe that'll be my first Tales game. Dude, they're not like the most recent one, Tales of Bazuria, is pretty good, but it needs a new engine, and now we got a new engine, so. That looks gorgeous. Does that wait a minute, does that mean the the Dark Souls thing is next? If we're in Bandai Namco land? Maybe. Armored Core what? 4. Oh wait, wrong company. What's what this? kind of game? Oh, is that? It's a JRPG. I universe. guess we're not going to see anything else because this is Borderlands. Be it might be the one more thing My maybe name at is the Lilith, end. And I need you. Not actual gameplay. Yeah, let's just. Chat, realistically, I, I want to see a, a real opinion here. How are we feeling about Borderlands 3? I'm super excited or just bleach wars? Yeah, vote yay, vote nay. Use the hype meter. Vote yay, vote nay. Are you excited for Borderlands 3? They're also going to break my chat for the 17th time now. <laughs> it seems kind of middling. Shoot! Shoot! They said it! They said it! Shoot! What? Oh no. Did you not see it on the screen? No, what happened? It said. It said shoot on the screen. It said shoot, and then loot, and then it goes, uh, 
Schlute? Is the question mark? The Schluter! We did it! Rise up! Nice work, JB. Yep. No, no, I, I take full ownership of that. Of the schluting business. I'm, I'm uh, oh. president and CEO of the schluter. I, I can't tell if the hype is spiked a little bit for the schluter part, but I gotta say, it's been steadily going down. It's kind of middling. Yeah. It started at 250, and it's just been... Yeah. Now... We can't we can't quantify this, but I wonder how much of that is just because of like the controversy right now, rather the pitchfordness right now around Borderlands Three, if that's being coupled in with well, all that. He's been pretty quiet lately. Um, yeah, but when all that news credit. is coming out. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I think they finally got him in order a little bit. And maybe the epic they bullshit. Any gameplay? Right there. That was all just cinematics. Yeah. Oh shit! The yeah, all new the Borderlands the connected DLC. You know about this? Oh, that was already out there. Download now for free. There you go. It requires the uh, the new thing, but it's apparently it's a small DLC at the end of Borderlands Two that connects the lore from two to three. World premiere. Good God! Ooh. This is just. I love that. You just want a guy that, like, when you wake up, it just goes world premiere. <laughs> then you open yep. the door, and it's just you standing there. <laughs> June 9th, 2019, welcomes you. <gasps> you this oh. oh, here it goes. Here it is. Oh, oh this is the Oh, here we go. Here, here we, we go. go. his hand in that arm? Yes, it is. Which I way do you want to go? You oh, could or not even you use your imagine it. Sorry. That which commanded the stars, giving life its fullest brilliance. Whoa. The Elden Ring. I just had a moment about a ring. By Are we seriously Lord of the Rings in this? Or something. It's Norse. Um, I think. Or Nordic. Don't tell me you don't see it. Just get you. Whoa. Look up at the sky. Hoggle? Burns. Can't tell if I'm hyped. I don't know what's happening. Well, the very beginning it said it's a new world created by those two. Yeah. Huh. Uh, I feel like the first time I saw a Death Stranding trailer. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. It's kind of like this could be cool, maybe, potentially. That was a. Huh. Maybe? I don't know. That was a thing. Please welcome back. Phil I wish that didn't leak. I don't even know as what well. kind of game it is. I figure if I figure like if that didn't leak, we'd all be going like, yeah, look, I'm in. Multinational studios to one person passion project. I think it was still pretty confusing. Thousands of Xbox <laughs> games are in development for you right now. Just today, we showed you 60 games. What's that called? Eden we Ring. We are now Elden, experiencing Elden an unmatched expansion of creativity on Xbox. Gaming for you means connecting all of these creators to all of you. I haven't you. seen Fable, I haven't seen Halo Last yet. Last fall, we announced our ambition to empower everyone everywhere to play by bringing Xbox to the cloud. <laughs> so we will do this do. in two ways, through Project X Cloud and through console streaming. Uh -oh. Two months ago, we connected all Xbox developers to Project Connect. X Cloud. Today, we invite those of you here at E3 for our first public hands-on of Project X Cloud. <laughs> to experience the freedom to play right here at the show. 
and you'll have two ways to stream. There's a new platform feature, console streaming. It turns your Xbox One into your own personal and free xCloud server. What? Whether you're using a console in our data center or your console at home, this October, you'll be able to use our hybrid gaming cloud to play your games wherever you go. So there's a use for the old Xbox. All right. <laughs> Where streaming. you play is Sorry. now entirely your choice. You decide. So let's talk about our next console. Jesus, okay, here we go. For us, the console is vital and central to our experience. Oh. We heard we you. A console should be designed and built and optimized for one thing and one thing only, gaming. So the same team Scorpio. that created the world's most powerful current, console, Paul. Xbox One X, and innovated its groundbreaking processor and the Elite controller. The same team that engineered the world-class compatibility of today's Xbox One consoles. The same team that set the bar for live gaming services with Xbox Live. This same team set out on a new mission to create the future of gaming for you. For me? Yeah. When right. we think about the Making future of gaming, the name. it's not just PC, Xbox it's one, not two. just console, <laughs> Microsoft it's not just mobile, it's really all of the above. <laughs> the Xbox is all about choice. We're investing in technology. Oh, do you know about all about they the game stack. The Xbox games you want with me. the people you want on the devices that you want. And for us, oh. that starts with Probably our next Do you know the name of the console. new Xbox? We don't want to build just another console. <laughs> we truly want it to be transformative. More immersion, more exploration, more detail. So how do we Xbox, make it easier what's in the box? for people to get into That's the game, it. to stay in the game? One of the things that gamers and developers in the are Xbox. incredibly excited about is reducing load times. I'm an RPG gamer, no. and so like loading screens are a thing. You're sitting there oh, in the shit. fake elevator because you know that the game's loading in the background. This is just an elevator ride forever. Yeah. That's Xbox our goal with gaming, is Preach. that you don't have those pauses. This generation is going to be a bigger leap than any generation we've done before. At the heart of our next generation console is our custom design processor, leveraging the latest Zen 2 and Navi technology from our Yo, partners at AMD. Beard. From yeah. a pure processing perspective, this is four mm. times more powerful than the I'll Xbox One X. We're leveraging high bandwidth GDDR6 to ensure that Holy we're getting shit. the best performance possible. It's going to usher That's in really resolution and frame rates that we've never seen before. Like, never seen before. We're looking at frame rates up to 120 frames per second. We've seen that. Capability, variable <laughs> refresh rate. Next gen ray tracing. It's real time because it's hardware accelerated for the first time ever. What I'm personally most excited about is the SSD. We've created a new generation of SSDs. We're actually using the SSD as virtual RAM. We're seeing more than 40 Whoa. times performance increases over the current generation. The combination of the SOC and the solid state drive oh. are really what gives you a totally new experience. Now we can take all of that power and apply Wait. it back into the scene. So we can actually generate more light in that world for consoles? and bring it to the gamer yeah. in a seamless yeah, way. Yeah. So that then you're sure. fully experiencing what the game developer wants you to experience. When you can move through worlds without waiting for screens to low, that speed, that performance is what the next generation is about. This is the most immersive console experience ever. What we really want to do is give developers the power to build the game they've always envisioned. We have hundreds of people across both our first party studios as well as our third party studios working on those next generation experiences today. It's an amazing commitment to content at Xbox Game Studios. 13 studios, seven in the last year. That's a big family. At 343, for us it's always about more seamless worlds with the next generation, we can bring the world to life in a way we've never experienced Halo before. You gotta reveal the price. We're delivering four generations no, of content no better than you've ever seen them no. before. 
This console well, is especially awesome for Game Pass out, members. Not, not With the faster load think. times, okay. you're going to be able to experience all the games within just a snap of your fingers. We're giving gamers the option to connect across devices and across platforms in a way that we never <laughs> were able to before. This isn't just a console launch. This is about no, the future so of gaming. Big. Your games, your achievements, your progression, your accessories, your console gaming experience with Xbox, it all comes forward with Scarlet. Is it Scarlet? Oh, it's Scarlet? Okay. So that's the project name. Oh, oh. Project Scarlet, like Project Scorpio. Okay. It eats okay. monsters for breakfast. What? You eat monsters for breakfast? This what? is Project Scarlet. The most powerful Chad, are we hyped and about highest this? How are we performing feeling? console we've ever designed. Built for creators to unleash their boldest creative visions and optimized for players to enjoy the ultimate gaming experience on a console anywhere. Immersive experiences begin at the very heart of the console, at the silicon level itself. Together with our partners at AMD, we have co-engineered and custom designed a state-of-the-art processor for Project Scarlet. Power you could see defined previous generations. Power and performance you can see and feel defines Project Scarlet. When we talk about freedom to play, when we talk about Xbox in the cloud, when we talk about streaming your games, Project Scarlet and all of its power and all of its performance is the foundation of our future in console and the formation of our future in cloud. Did we launched Xbox camera? 18 it's years ago with the game reviewers called the definitive reason to own an Xbox. Well, because humanity was and is worth saving, next holiday, we will launch Project Scarlet with Halo. Uh-oh, here we go. Let's see that new Halo. Yeah, right. Wait, wait, he, you're, said, you're, he said we're going to launch Scarlet with Halo? With Halo, yeah. It's a launch title right here. Did he say a time? 2020 holiday. Pressure building in lines 4, 17, and 33. Pressure building in lines 4, 17. Protocol accepted. Oh shit, he had a Dharma initiative, that shit. How big you are? Are you so big? So big. <laughs> and can you sing? Good singing. How about I'll kick the baby? I miss you. That's the only you. song my son. And knows. I love you. I love you. <laughs> I love you, Daddy. I love you, Daddy. And I can't wait to see you. Can you say see you? See you. Good and bye bye. Bye bye. That was actually kind of touching. It was. UNSC Pelican Echo 216. Can you hear me? This is UNS. <gasps> oh. 
cool. They found him. We can rebuild him. Okay. Make him stronger. Looks like the main power cells are fried. Armor shut down. Triggering survival mode. I'm going to try to overwrite. Okay. If you can hear me in there, I hope you're ready. Please don't die. Please. Chief, I rerouted what little power I had into your suit. Hmm. Looks like there's a problem with the servos in your hands. Stay calm. You've been out there a while. I know I saw something in oh. here to check your armor's diagnostics. See there, big guy. You're not. Status report. Status report? What? There's something you need to see, Chief. It's all gone. We lost. Lost everything. There's nothing left for us here. I'm team for here is. No, 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 Not then! Not again! We need to run! No. We need a fight. Get ready. Yeah, I'm into it. I'm into it. Yep, yep, yep. I'm sold. Cortana, I bet. Do this music. I chose you because emotions. you were special. Let's turn it again. A lot of years of my life. Together. Mm hmm And I was right. That was cool. I think this is the recap. Oh, yeah, yeah. And for those of you playing Bingo, yes, that counts as a late 2020 because they said it's a launch title for the new thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, every time your internet dips, it just gets super tiny. <laughs> the camera, I love it. <laughs> yeah, no fable yet, huh? We didn't Wait, get any fables. We didn't. Did we see any Sea of Thieves stuff? No. I don't think so. Huh. Did we get a release date for Wasteland 3? I don't no. think so. I got a doc. We'll go through dude. all of it. Yeah, we'll we'll talk. I got some stuff to say about Wasteland 3. <laughs> Rami, come back to us. Man. No, Skull, Skull and Bones would be Ubisoft. It, well, they, they said that was delayed indefinitely, I think. Definitely? I believe that was the word, like, yeah. Like it's on pause? Oh. Yeah. yeah. I'm Damn, gonna fix around in here. Wow. Wow, that sucks. Whoa. We'll fix around in time. It's okay. What does everybody think I need to fix me? What is that? I don't know. I'm okay. <laughs> there we go. There we Can go. Can we talk about this for? Man. We can't have you breeding, Rami. We can't have more of you.
being born. <laughs> Man, that was a uh, hell of a conference. They showed a lot of stuff. Yeah. I'm going to pull up. We had uh, our mods were running down a dock uh, with everything shown. Welcome, everyone, once again from Slash Twitch. Uh, where to even begin with that? Do we start with Keanu fucking Reeves, maybe? Is that where the... <laughs> like, isn't that the entire thing? Is that was just it. Keanu goddamn Reeves. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try to find that trailer real quick. Co, walk us through your thoughts on what you saw from Cyberpunk. <laughs> That's, what I thought. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. He's related beyond rational thought right now. That's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. How's Did they put that trailer out, by the way? Let's see if I can find it. Cyberpunk. Oh, no, but that was trailer. A, that, that was the can thing. I, can, I, can I say this on the main Twitch? Keanu motherfucking Reeves. Where did that come from? I don't know. Like, how was that not leaked? Or how is that I don't that know. Work? That's the best kept secret. Oh, my God. 100%. Yeah. Ah, I mean, 100%. At, the, at that point, all the other leaks seemed like they were not that, that important anyway. Yeah. I got, I got the papers, y'all. Yeah. Whew. Yeah, that. No, whether, whether those leaks were like on purpose or you know actually accidental or whatever, I'm sure they were like, don't even worry about that. Don't even worry about those other fucking leaks. As long as Keanu doesn't get out, that that shit doesn't get out, we'll we'll be just fine. Yeah, that was. Definitely I loved thing. how much fun he was having. He was just having fun on that stage. It was just, he was just there. He at some point, he just on stage the whole time. He just stopped talking. And he just went cyberpunk. Yeah. And that was it. <laughs> it's just so, great. I mean, it was great. That's all you had to do is just say cyberpunk. Just hang out, Keanu yeah. Reeves. It was good. It was good. Could you th could you even think of something that would be more hyped than that? That might actually appear. That might actually happen. No. No. I I didn't know right. that that was even on the board uh, for something that could happen. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. That was. Uh, well, we know. Hell we know thing. he's involved in games now with uh, with John Wick Hex as well, but yeah, Cyberpunk. Yeah, I did not see that coming. What a, what a name to uh, attach to your already like gigantic name uh, in the Cyberpunk brand. So yep. we got a little bit of story here too. Um, actually, I mean this entire thing was story based, but uh, yeah. Yeah. So, so one thing kind of interesting. So this is one of the, the first times we haven't seen a lot of information from Cyberpunk. But just, I don't know if you guys picked up on this too. It looks like we may have been, we may be this guy. We may be that character. Yeah. And he gets somehow killed. And then Keanu Reeves finds him in a junkyard. And that may be where the game starts. Except you may be in pieces. So you create your character by like putting yourself back together for whatever Keanu's going to have you do. Um, that's kind of interesting because I was always under the assumption that you were going to have like your own backstory, kind of like you're just a nameless face in the crowd. But there's a lot of exposition here about this guy. So I wonder if, if we're going to be like a, a reincarnation of him in some capacity. Now, I don't... You could be wrong, of course. I, I'm just guessing. Completely. What if we can could actually be. fuck Keanu Reeves in this game? What if he's a romantic... What if we can romance Keanu Reeves? Well, first of all, you don't fuck him. He fucks you. That is, that's true. <laughs> that's true. It's very true. <laughs> and second of all, hey, dream big. Is there going to be I'm a just, behind the I, scenes I, motion cap I, uh, on the bonus uh, collector's edition? <laughs> I can just imagine like the back of the box. It's like open world, deep skill system. Fuck Keanu Reeves. <laughs> like, just like a bullet point. No, like, no, right they, down the they would just drop the Reeves and it would just say, fuck Keanu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's well, good. I, I got to tell you, since, since I'm actually here and doing like the the game interviews and stuff like that for Twitch. Yeah. Came out on stage. I just had like visions of me like interviewing him like at our little like studio thing that we got set up and just going like, uh... Uh, you're, I love you. Like doing the whole Christopher, uh, like a uh, Chris Farley shit. Like you're awesome. God, so stupid. Yeah. I just do it. the same thing as Zero in John Wick Three. Like it works. Just go sit yeah. next to him and put your leg against his, and then just kind of try to be smooth about it. What? It'd be a, great. Uh, 
what a thing that was. And then the collector's edition, all that stuff. Co, did you actually end up getting the uh, the stuff pre-ordered or no? No, I couldn't. Couldn't find any. It looks like it's the same situation where they announced the pre-orders before the infrastructure was ready. So yeah, it looks like most of the stores don't have it up yet. Gotcha. It, am I the only one that's most excited about Flight Simulator? Am I just the nerd here? What was, that, what was that? Like Which one? The whole Flight Simulator? Like oh. I just want Flight Simulator. Like skip everything really else. But if they put Keanu Reeves in that, sure. That'll make it better, but otherwise, I, <laughs> I really want you, flight simulator. You're doing flight simulator, and you look over at your co-pilot, and Counter Reeves just like, yeah, just like sitting there, <laughs> yeah. just very, just very excited about how you're flying. That's it. Just like, oh, that's very good. Here's some flight simulator for you. I was, it was, it, since this is powered by the satellite data and the Azure AI, I really wonder like how, what the scale of this is going to look like. Because if you, if I, I skip, hope, if I skip ahead here, like. It's pretty detailed in terms of what's there, right? Yeah, like, give me Earth. Yeah, yeah it's what well, it said the thing at the beginning with the Google Maps. Um, I'm assuming maybe they just have a really solid tech for detecting elevation, and maybe they can like just you like pick a place in Google Maps, and it'll just kind of like build you your level to fly around in. Yeah, that would be awesome. I don't know what else it would have done with the tie-in, but I will say, looking at those cityscapes and the complete variance of the building heights. And just thinking about how many 3D objects you're seeing from the top of that plane is mind-boggling. Yeah, yeah, it really is. It really is. Zeke, it's ridiculous. come back to us. Zeke, you're so tiny. You're so tiny. There we go. Now you're starting to grow. <laughs> now you're starting to grow. I'll have to look into that uh, for tonight's, uh, but can't do anything about it right now. Anyways, this looks really good. Uh, definitely yeah. like the one of the prettiest it? looking games. What was that, Co? No, I, 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 chat. Maybe I was completely wrong. I could have sworn it said something about a mapping system at the beginning. Maybe it, says, it wasn't Google Maps. It said satellite imaging or something like. Let me let me go. Okay. It says this. Okay. Right satellite here. imaging and Azure. Yeah, powered by satellite data and Azure AI is what it said. Oh, okay. I just okay. I just thought Google Maps. I'm sorry. Probably yeah. Bing Maps. Bing Maps. Everyone's favorite maps. There we oh, go. Oh, no. Got to get our got to get our terminology right there. Oh God. I mean, I'm, like, I'm, I'm excited about Cyberpunk, but I still don't feel I know what the game is. Like, I, st I just, I still don't know. It's like the same thing I had with the, 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 the Elder Ring. Like, I, I, I want it, but I, I'm still not. With Cyberpunk? Elder yeah, Ring, yeah. It's just, well, yeah, I mean, Elder but I mean, last year they had the 45-minute gameplay trailer. Yeah, and that was, but it still didn't really tell me what was up with it. Like, why am I doing these things? Where am I going? What am oh. I building? Like, it's like, yeah, it has systems like Deus Ex, but what is the... Like the narrative like showing 40, Well, it's like showing 45 minutes of Days Gone, right? It's like, yeah, okay, I'm on a bike driving around killing zombies. But, like, what does it tie together in a way that's meaningful? I have faith in CD Projekt. Yeah, but what about Keanu but, Reeves? Uh, well, that's the thing, right? That, <laughs> that's why it worked out. Because I think without Keanu Reeves, if I had seen that, I would have kind of been like, yeah, cool. They brought out Keanu, and yeah, sure, through the roof. Like, I'm excited. But, yeah, yeah. Um, if I, if I, down if I, what was that thing? I was just gonna say, are we gonna go down the list, or are we just picking out stuff that we? We'll, we'll pick out stuff for now, and then uh, once they bounce okay. back over to uh, to Twitch uh, on their own, they're gonna be doing some Baldur's Gate three stuff, so we'll probably check that as well sure. uh, while they're talking about it. But oh, yeah, we'll just bounce yeah. out for when now. is that? Uh, fo <laughs> immediately following us, as soon as we stop talking in about ten minutes. Baldur's well, Gate guys, it's been there. great. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Um, have a enjoy the Baldur's Gate three coverage. <laughs> We'll, we'll show it here, and you guys will see it over at slash Twitch on your own. Uh, and we'll stop talking over there as well. Um, now, Rami, I want to get to this before we get cut off. The console stuff. Can you... They said a lot of words. There was a lot of technical <laughs> jargon. A lot of uh, yeah. DDR G6 and it, some, it, it, some stuff and some SSDs and SSDs and stacks on stacks. Yeah, what, can you talk about that? What they're basically saying, like in many ways, what they're saying is this is about as this is this. Is, they're not saying anything different from what Sony is kind of saying. They're building a much more powerful device like Sony. They're focusing on loading times like Sony. They seem to focus on connectivity. Um, I feel more and more like the consoles are becoming just very powerful computers, which yeah. for me as a developer is extremely exciting. Right. That's as a developer. That's where we want to be, where we look at a platform and just go like, OK, we should put it on that, too. Um, and I think that part of that is why I'm so excited about the double find announcement in particular, uh, more than anything else, because yeah, the consoles are all going to be powerful. They're all going to be fast. What it's going to be about is content. It's going to be about having the studios, having the developers, having the games, and they're just picking up all the right studios, grabbing Ninja Theory, they really are. grabbing double find, grabbing like 
every time they pick up a studio, I'm just going like, ooh, I'm going to miss those games on PlayStation and or I'm going to miss those games, you know, like on other platforms. It's, that shows that they're buying the right studios. They're creating a portfolio that is exciting, but they're funding games that those studios otherwise would not be able to make. Sure. And that that's where the future is, I think, for, for a lot of consoles. It's less about these games are only here. It's more about we have um, these games come from us right. to every device, every screen you have. So, yeah, this was this was good. This was super. This was super strong. I think very um, strong conference. Yeah, without a doubt. Yeah, Co, you got that look Definitely on your better. face. Sorry to so, cut you off. Uh, got, Co, what's going little, on? Little cyberpunk <laughs> thing here. Y'all know what I said earlier about the Kano thing. And Boone from chat just said that if you haven't seen already on GOG Galaxy, there's a description section for Cyberpunk that includes quote take the riskiest job of your life and go after a prototype implant that is the key to immortality. Basically what we saw those two guys with the chip at the beginning. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Seems about right. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. No, I, definitely think they did, I definitely think they did better than Sony's E3 conference this year. That's, yeah, totally. Uh, no, I, I think sure. they bested Sony stuff without yeah, doubt. It was, uh, doubt. It was good. No, it, it was an exciting. It, it was an exciting conference. I I didn't see anything that made me go like, "Meh." This was all good. It was just like game, 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 game announcement, console, X Cloud, everything, Game Pass. Yeah, I. It's, I don't know. If no I, breathing. I don't know if I was not in the E three mindset, but like, I feel I need to go like take a nap. I was bombarded with just tons and tons <laughs> of games from that thing. I kept asking like, "What is it over?" I, this is the last thing, surely, right? Oh, they haven't done, they haven't shown the Halo stuff yet. Uh, it, they showed a lot, uh, and it it didn't. I'm trying to think of a low point. It was paced very well in terms of a conference. Like they just had a ton of different stuff out there, all of which looked really cool. Not a lot of gameplay, right? Yeah, you're like, right. That just yeah, mean, I gotta say, of, I. Yeah. Go ahead. I think it's very like I think a lot of these games are obviously going to be uh, uh, Project Scarlet, right? Yeah. So I'm thinking they're just not at a point where they're ready to show off gameplay, or they're just not at a point where they they want to do that yet. Um, it feels it feels like we're breathing in. This is a breathing in E3. We're gonna go, we're gonna go quiet for a year. We're gonna hold our breath, and then next year is gonna be everything. But yeah. I think with the Halo stuff, it's almost like cheating because all you have to do is just play those three fucking notes from Halo and you're like, oh, Halo guys, did you, it's a pretty good game. And I, it's my childhood's right there, man. It's all, <laughs> I've played the shit out of those Halo games. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm in. So it, yeah. we didn't get to see too, too much. That, uh, that CG that they showed, the cutscene they showed looked good. Like the lighting and everything looked good when, uh, that room lit up, but it's such a small thing to judge what that console can actually do. That uh, I think I agree with you. Like we're not going to see uh, really much about it for the next year until 2020 starts, and then they'll get out there and probably blow the lid wide open with both uh, consoles. So, what do you think about it uh, overall? Overall, uh, I really like the format, uh, especially coming from a, a few. As those uh, for those that don't know, we we cover E3 pretty much every year. A lot of time, me, JP, and a, a smattering of Twitch personalities. It's a lot of fun, but it kind of leads us to track trends. And one thing we noticed in E3 over the last couple of years is that they started to do a lot more like artsy stuff and less about games and more about the show. So it's nice to see the format return to being more about the games. It was basically just game, 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 little discussion about the game, 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 game. Yeah. That's great. I can tell you, I prefer that greatly. I don't watch E3 for the pomp and circumstance. You know, I'm, I'm here for the game info. I'm here for the trailers. I'm here for the reveals. So I like how Xbox kept the pace up the whole time. I will say I was really hoping to see more from Obsidian and, and Exile. Um, the Obsidian trailer was good. I mean, it looked, it looked like Outer Worlds is really coming along, but... I'm ready to see stuff that's going to separate Outer Worlds from from everything else. I want to see what's going to make this the next New Vegas. Uh, I have to admit there were there were a couple scenes, especially with the people. Um, in fact, I haven't made the comment during the show like, "Oh, look, it's New Vegas." Like, dude, they I was about to look exact, like they were right it, out of New it Vegas. It looked like the animated New Vegas. Sh I didn't even play the yes. game, and I picked up on that. Yeah. So and I it's not even the same engine. Yeah, it's UE4. It's not Gabriel anymore. So it's like I I kind of I was really hoping that they were going to showcase this stuff. It's going to make Outer Worlds the next big thing. Yeah. And I it, I didn't 
I didn't really get that. That being said, uh, the release date was great. Looks like it's October 24th, I want to say. And uh, that means that with a release date right around the corner, we should probably be seeing some a lot more information come out uh, pretty wildly. Also, okay, we got to talk about this a little bit. Let's talk Wasteland about Wasteland 3. Yeah, that's right. a different... Well, that's... That, yeah. Dude, I I knew what I was watching at the beginning, but I I I would that was not expected. Wasteland Two was was definitely a kind of dystopian. I mean, there was some humor, but it was it was a very serious game about kind of like the trials and tribulations of a dying world. Um, I feel like they're doing the same thing Rage Two did, where the 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 last game was kind of a more serious narrative experience. And now this one looks to be just like a completely zany, humor-focused, like, car more cartoony. I don't, I don't know, man. Like, I, I was a little surprised by this. Um, I definitely want a lot more information. I'm hoping they're keeping the more kind of serious narrative aspects of it because this looked a little over the top. Yeah, I'd say. It's yeah. a little bit much. A little bit much. L start, a little, yeah. a little bit much. Yeah. 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 Did this have a date? What was there a date uh, on this? I don't know. Well, they, they ha there's a fig project up for for Wasteland Three, so we we've been getting a lot of info over the the times. Um, but I I don't know if there's a release date for it yet. I mean, I'm still looking right. forward to it. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, the gameplay. Was I gotta great. say the the presentation was was not what I was expecting at all. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. We got like two minutes before we get cut off, so I'm gonna get Zeke's uh, opinions before we cool. do. Zeke, any big things from the show for you? Well, obviously, Keanu. Keanu's hard to beat. Yeah, uh, yeah. Blair, Blair Witch. Like, uh, I don't know why they decided to use that particular like name, but the game looked fucking cool. Because uh, I think that that title might turn some people off just automatically, but it looked like well constructed and and spooky, scary, all that shit. I'm, I'm pretty hyped for that. Uh, let's see, Psychonauts two. Mm, I'm still waiting. Just wanna just wanna play it. Uh, oh, that 12 minutes game. That looked really good. Yeah. yeah. One yeah. room groundhog day kind of a kind of a thing. And I think I mean they put it in like the middle as, as a small thing, like on purpose to make you feel like boxed in or something like that. It's I was hyped about that. that the game cool. is incredible. I, I've been playing early build since years, and Louise has been working on it, like slowly chipping away. This is a work of extreme precision and it's going to be very very the entire idea at xbox segment was really good honestly like uh yeah. that static uh, uh tabs um cross code uh, and 12 minutes uh totem teller i don't even i i saw you all react to the art style of totem teller it was that like glitchy uh, lots of diagonal art game uh that's beautiful as well the the indie segment was really good. Twelve minutes is definitely like it looked really good. I'm glad. I'm glad Zeke also picked that up as a standout because it's yeah, that's a thing. It looked really good. Uh, all right, well, thanks everyone over at Slash Twitch. We're gonna keep going here, talking about everything, going in depth, talking about all the Dark Souls stuff. Uh, but over there, I think you guys are gonna see some Baldur's Gate three stuff. So. Uh, we're, we're gonna watch that too right we're gonna also check that out yeah we'll also be tuning in and uh, giving our thoughts uh we'll see you guys later tonight for bethesda uh make sure that uh you're ready for some uh disappointment maybe i don't know we'll see we'll see how it goes thanks twitch disappointment with small bits of okayness <laughs> maybe we'll get a doom eternal right. release date we'll see you know we'll see my presence here does not mean i agree with that <laughs> 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 all right thanks everyone over at twitch we'll see you guys later tonight anyways we're gonna keep going on uh where do you guys want to begin do you want to just go down through everything that we saw we kind of talked about outer wilds that's what they started with uh yeah let's go down the list yeah uh, we, we gave our thoughts on that what about this bleeding edge game i thought those character designs were on you point. meant outer worlds right they started with outer worlds yeah what did i say outer, outer wilds outer is that Wild. the other game they should yeah, which is incredible and you could 100 percent play but yeah out of, oh out of god worlds. yes i've heard it's good but yes i mean outer outer wilds is incredible i'm gonna get that i felt till the end of time i felt emotions at the end of outer wilds that i didn't understand when i was feeling them yeah that sounds about right okay also an incredible game so yeah <laughs> <laughs> sure that's sure. a good review yeah makes you feel things you do not understand dude sure. i seriously like i found myself almost tearing up and i didn't even know why I watched you play the end of that, and I was just like, "What the fuck is what is 
Did you? Why are you crying? Did I do Dude, you, you have, like, you what have to on? go on the journey. It's it's a journey. Yeah. That game is a is a, an experience that is like one giant. Ex- yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. a journey. It looks it's good. A journey. It looks good. These motherfucking character designs. Holy shit! I feel like they watched. Uh, I, I guess Overwatch would be like the the leader when it comes to creating cool looking characters and whatnot of the past couple of years. And, and they knocked these out of the park. It looked really good. Yep. I don't know about the admit, gameplay, but yeah. I'm worried for Ninja Theory. Really? I'm worried this game's going to flop. Just because of the genre? I just, I just think it's a genre thing. I think it's a lawbreaker situation. I, I think that no matter, un, unless there is some kind of persistent back end to keep people playing long term, I feel like people are going to play it for maybe a week or two and then go back to their favorite game. I hope I'm wrong because oh, I love Ninja Theory. I hope I'm wrong. Yeah. But I I, well, I I don't know, man. I don't I'm know. Absolutely. Like, I'm, I'm with you. On the other hand, I think this is a calculated risk on Microsoft's side, right? Like they know this game is very likely going to flop. Ninja Theory is not at risk over this, right? Like They got bought by Microsoft to do stuff. And if they if Microsoft immediately kills Ninja Theory, they're gonna lose a lot of they're gonna lose a lot of goodwill. So I'm I'm guessing well, Ninja Theory is fine for next like three games. Yeah. Probably I would also sign- say that the game the game that we saw looked relatively far in the development cycle. So I'm guessing yeah. they're either already planning or have their next product cooking already, potentially. And I gotta say, like, I really hope it's not like like I hope they have something similar to their previous games, kind of like yeah. coming down the pipeline. Oh. Um, but yeah. when yeah. you think about it, they're making because you, Ko, you said this is melee, right? Like folks on melee. Said melee. melee. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just checking uh, uh, the the melee stuff. Ninja Theory doing a melee game is good news, right? The studio that did DMC uh, did Enslaved uh, doing melee is is good. This is good news. Mm-hmm. Doing that in multiplayer is not something we've seen before. Not on that scale. Like For Honor did it, but very slow. This seems fast. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it also looked combo-y, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm feeling like they just took what they learned from DMC and put it in a thing like Overwatch. I'm, I'm up for that. I'm very up for that. Yeah. It seems like Loki a good game in my opinion. So. It, it, yeah, I enjoyed it. I I think it. Uh, there are opinions about that game that might not agree with that, but yeah, D- DMC was. It was it was a game. People were expecting a <laughs> Devil May Cry, and they got DMC. Yeah, it's a different thing for sure. But, right, right, right. Uh, it was good. Yeah. Uh, and then from there, I need to find the trailer for. Okay, here it is. Actually. Uh, I thought this looked absolutely gorgeous. Also, I think Zeke might be screwed up here on my own doing, but we're just going to show it anyways, because holy hell did it look good. Uh, this Ori stuff right here. Good lord. Ugh. Good lord. It this fucking... It's like... Is it safe to say that if Pixar is the best in animation, that this looks Pixar... P- Pixar, wow. Pixar-esque? Also known as Piscar. <laughs> like, it looks I've, really good. I've never seen anything like oh, this. this. The I'm old looking trailer. at whoops, this. Whoops, whoops, whoops. This is even in the old trailer, and you guys are still about it. Uh, let me find the, the one that came um, out today. The stuff we saw today, some of that is. I have no idea how they made it. Right? I like, did, like, yeah, sure. I understand how you could make it, oh, but how you oh. could make it and also have it run well. Right. This is it. This is incredible. Like the level of detail, like the reflections, the like the hazes, the, the animation, the colors, the light, the like everything animates, everything breathes, everything has soul. Like, how do you make this? Yeah. Is is Baldur's Gate going, Co? We'll cut away here real quick if it is. Okay. All right. Let's <laughs> let me give me a second here. I'm juggling a billion things. Let's mute this <laughs> over. <laughs> Here, Internal here, panic. Here, 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 okay. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, okay. Oh, they're just showing the trailer. We didn't miss anything. Yes. We didn't miss anything. Well, I'm guessing that'll go right into the coverage. Well, yeah. I'm hoping. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. What? I missed the guy throwing There's up. so much ads going on. <laughs> okay. Here we go. 
Here's the trailer they show. There we go. Okay. Let's see what they show here. Oh, by the way, for those that are following Baldur's Gate 3, they've already had a developer's update, which I is amazing, that. and you should watch it. It's great. It is so it is so much fun. Definitely check that. it out. Yeah. Hey, let's see. Oh, there he is. Hello and welcome back to E3 on Twitch. I got that shirt. Your host joined by my co-host Rachel Querico here on Yeah, Larian sent it to me. From Larian and Mike from Dungeon. All right, I'm going to dip out. And we are here. Dip out cuz I got I got you know work to do. Okay. All right. So uh, we'll see you later tonight for Bethesda. The trailer. Yep, uh, what is that? Six, 15, p and, and yes, so three game, hours and change? Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Ooh. We'll see you then. Tell us right. about like, two and a half hours. Like, what is yeah. a Bye, Zeke. Make so a funny face when you leave. Slayer is a, uh, in D &D, Perfect. They refer to as aberrations. Oh, dude. They are he looks like that big guy from Game of Thrones right now. Multiverse of D &D. Oh, yeah, a little bit. Hey, it's Mike Merles. I know that guy. He's been on my show before. It's called the Far Realm. It's very quiet, know chat. It as, but we don't know much about too. it exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Torma. What we do know Thank is you. that like a lot of Far Realm creatures, they're parasitic. Uh, what you're seeing is essentially uh, the process no, not of seromorphosis, <laughs> which is a word which is a lot easier to type than to say <laughs> back when like when we were messing with it, creating it. But the the idea is that mind players convert humanoids into more of their kind and spread almost like a virus. Mm -hmm. And so you're seeing an unfortunate go. Unfortunate uh, member of the Flaming Fist go through a process that normally takes seven I days, never thought Mike uh, but is only on taking a few moments, and yeah, he's undergoing couch. a serious life change. Uh, he's yeah, yeah, that's my brother. Joining the ranks of the Mind brother. Flayers. Uh, the most notable thing about Mind Flayers is they like to eat human brains. That's essentially mm. what they have to subsist on. Well, human brains, human as you do. Yeah, as one yeah. Brains, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious because there are there are kind of a few types of people that are watching that trailer. There are people who are like, oh, tell me everything that's going to happen in Baldur's Gate three because I played all of the Baldur's Gate and I love. Baldur's Gate, and then there are people that are like, I don't know anything about this, but that looked gross and cool. So what would you say, what was the thinking behind, this is what we're going to put in our trailer for Baldur's, th Baldur's Gate 3. What should we learn from this trailer about Baldur's Gate 3? Well, literally what you said, actually, it was meant to introduce people that don't know anything about Dungeons and Dragons to the coolness of Dungeons and Dragons. Mm -hmm. which is, you see a transfer transformation, you see a scenario like Invasion of the Body Snatchers going on, mm -hmm. you see a big octopus-like spaceship in the, in the air, you see Mind Flayers flying. Uh, but if you know Dungeons and Dragons, and if you know Baldur's Gate, you see a uh, member of the Flaming Fist, you see the blushing mermaid in the background, that's like the tavern that's there. So you see plenty of references to the original Baldur's Gate, and so you recognize things, and you understand also that, hey, uh, hold on a minute, a mind flare doesn't produce that fast. It takes much more time, so what's going on here? Mm -hmm. So there's two levels uh, to the teaser trailer. So what is going on here, <laughs> guys? <laughs> Well, there's a problem, uh -huh. uh, and there's going to be uh, a gathering of adventurers to deal with the problem. Mm. That is pretty much the setup of what's going to be happening, and there's mind flayers involved. Well, now these adventurers, He's we have encountered much. Baldur's Gate no, 1 and like 2, and we met some adventurers that we love. <laughs> and now, how much am I going to have to know the about trailer, them and those and previous adventurers to jump right into Baldur's Gate 3? <laughs> Same thing, really. Uh, there will be a story in this game. Baldur's Gate, <laughs> uh, you will see iconic characters, iconic creatures, iconic locations. You will fight them. And if you haven't played the original Baldur's Gate, you can say, oh my god, that's so cool. All right? <laughs> you say, what is this big floating eye? What but is it, that? It's not going to hurt me to not know the stories of the previous characters. No. Uh, uh, it's uh, been made so that somebody who's... Because there's... What? When we announced that we were doing Baldur's Gate what? 3 in uh, our office, we had two reactions. Right we had, uh, first of all, the guys that went completely ecstatic. <laughs> and then we had the uh, uh, younger generation that said, what's, what's Baldur's Gate? <laughs> <All right? laughs> so there's a lot of people that, don't, that haven't played it. And so for, for them, this should be a really good introduction to, to what uh, Forgotten Realms is like. If someone has never mm. played a Baldur's okay. Gate before, how would you describe what kind of game it is? If, if I'm a certain type of gamer, what type of gamer would enjoy playing Is it going to say Baldur's CRPG? So um, you have to be into fantasy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there's going to be a bit of that. Uh, but essentially, it is a, a video game that brings the experience that you get uh, when you're playing a tabletop game uh, to uh, computers or to, to console. Uh, no, to f I didn't say that. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> to, to video games. So, what console. does that mean? Uh, when you are playing a, uh, a tabletop campaign, uh, you're going to get a reason to go on an adventure. Uh, well. You are going to be given systems with which you can overcome the challenges that the he game got more red. at you. What we're he doing did. He is definitely we're did. doing literally the same thing. We are giving you a whole bunch of systems that you can play with. 
Uh, you're going to be given uh, really interesting challenges, and then it's going to be this up to you and your so creativity to deal with the challenges. And so what that means is that he, at the end of the yeah, day, if you are going is. to talk <laughs> to you, for instance, and you've both played, let's say, in single player, and you'll talk about your adventure, your adventure will be different, mm. because you'll have made different decisions than she will have made. And so that's really the, the, the type of game that it is. Your decisions define the adventure that you're going to be on, against the background, obviously, of an overall nar narrative. And the way that you're going to shape that adventure is going to be by making decisions, tough decisions, by how you treat your companions, and by how do you overcome those challenges, what do you select as, uh, as ways of overcoming things. So, for instance, if you pick, uh, I'm going to be playing as a ranger, or if I'm, I'm going to be playing as a wizard or a warlock, it's going to already have a very big impact on how the game is going to react to you. Mm -hmm. And so my, oh, go ahead. Oh, no. Uh, Leading on to that, uh, you know, you talk about the involvement of D it's a D and D adjacent game. It's it's the rules of Five E, and Baldur's Gate is a is a game that's been around since before Five E. So, how has the gameplay been updated to reflect the current state of D and D? Okay, so uh, the original Baldur's Gate were second edition games. Yep. So we were fifth edition. Twenty years have gone by. Indeed. Um, yeah. I think wow. that one of the, the coolest things of fifth edition is how accessible it is. I mean, we've been uh, teaching journalists how to play D&D &D and, and, <laughs> and, and, and preparing for promotion for, for this game. And they were up and running in five minutes. You know, like you explained it instantly. It's very easy to explain how D&D &D works these days. The ambition is that we're going to be able to do the same thing with the game. So you're going to roll into it very easily, and you don't have to worry about any complicated mechanics, but it makes sense. You're going to say, oh, well, I can get advantage by doing this. And then you'll say, well, I should be maybe doing more of this, because otherwise I'm just going to die here. Mm -hmm. And so like this, you're going to find your way in the game, and the game leads you in very gently into all the cool things that you can do. I want to ask, too, because we just spent some time at um, learning about Baldur's Gate Descent is into that? Avernus, which is the adventure for Dungeons and Dragons itself. And I've heard that there the are some tie-ins between that and what we're seeing in There's Baldur's Gate 3, so kind voice. of making a fully immersive universe of D&D for those of us who play tabletop like and like video an games. Can you tell something. us a little bit about those? Tie-ins? Yeah, so what we're looking to do is there are a lot of D&D fans who have just come to the game recently who maybe didn't play Baldur's Gate back in the day, or if you played it back then, you want to see what's the current state of the city. Mm -hmm. So the idea of uh, uh, Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus, it's our next big campaign. Uh, it's releasing in uh, September 17th. The, um, and the idea is we think of Baldur's Gate as having its own story arc. You know, you have Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. We did an adventure called Murder in Baldur's Gate that came out a few years ago. And then, so Descent into Avernus is the next chapter, and that gives you a chance to to catch up. It's been a hundred years in the timeline of the Forgotten Realms since uh, Baldur's Gate 2, the events in that game. And so we give you the chance to give you an overview of the city, see who the important movers and shakers, what's the tone and the, what's the environment of, this, of the area like. And then we also give you a full level 1 to 13 campaign mm -hmm. where you get to essentially decide to save or maybe not save Baldur's Gate from the forces of uh, the Nine Hells. Mm -hmm. uh, and so what that does is it bridges the gap and show, it sets us up for the next chapter, the chapter after Descent into Avernus, which is the story of Baldur's Gate 3. You know, we see that as all one part of one vast epic, where each piece then informs the next piece coming. Mm -hmm. So it really gives you a chance. It's, it's a prequel. That's how we've thought of it. Um, and Adam Lee, the narrative designer who led the creation of Descent into Avernus, he actually spent, what, three weeks in, yeah. uh, in Belgium with, with the Larian team working on, you know, here's the, the, the tone we're looking for for Baldur's Gate. I, I was actually, well, everyone else is watching the trailer and seeing the gruesome transformation, and I'm like, <laughs> the, the architecture is exactly right, the, the type of stone, like I'm seeing all this stuff getting nailed, like, you know, I just want to walk down the streets of Baldur's Gate, you know, and that's what I'm really looking forward to in the game. But it's really, you know, building on that legacy. So if you are coming to it and don't know much about Baldur's Gate, that's the per perfect entry point. And if you're a tabletop gamer, we're hopefully giving you a really great adventure to go on and set the table mm -hmm. for then what the next chapter is going to look like. Well, and as someone so invested in the little details of Baldur's Gate and the greater world, how do you think Larian Studios has done justice to this? Because your other games have been so in-depth. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking about Divinity, Original Sin 1 and 2. There are so many directions to go, so many subplots, so many ways to interact with the world that it feels like one of the, the first true gameplay styles that is as wide a potential as you have when you play a tabletop game. Yeah, it's been a great match. Mm -hmm. Like very early on, like when you when I didn't know about this until the deal was signed. Like you know, that's when you know a deal's serious <laughs> and they don't let the creators know until it's done. <laughs> the, uh, in our first story meeting, I remember laying out the map of Baldur's Gate of the Sword Coast and just diving in. It felt like we were just working with an extended D and D family. You know, everyone just coming together and working on the storyline. And it's normally I really love my job, mm -hmm. but now like having to help approve the story, it's like I already know where it's like 
oh, I want to play this game. I like what I like. Erase my memory just to go back and play through. Like, you know, like it's, it's been fantastic, you know, and seeing the real, I think a lot of our design culture is very similar. You know, this idea mm -hmm. of open-ended problem solving, stories really driven by the player, even just the open-ended nature, you know, for Divinity, you know, the approach you've taken of having a very community-driven process, that really matches up very well with us culturally, you know, from the game design and, and world building and storytelling. So it's been, it just, it's felt like just an extension of, of what we were doing in the tabletop space. Mm. And I have heard that our expectation for when we can get our hands on this is whenever it's finished, right? So why was that so important? Uh, people have been waiting for this game for a very long time, including my, my own people. Uh, so um, <laughs> we have to make this the game that <laughs> it deserves people. to be. Mm. And uh, that sometimes takes time. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, so we're going to give it this time. We're going to work together with our community to like evolve this game into a, a, what it needs to be. And then when the time is ready, we'll release it. Well, we can't wait. Thank you guys so much for coming cool. to spend Cheers. some time with us here on the Twitch stage. I'm stoked to see Baldur's Gate 3 and everything else that you guys have prepared for us. But for now, we've got to take a quick break, but we'll be right back we'll with more from E3 on Twitch. We're not going anywhere, though. Uh, they're going to do some <laughs> other stuff right after this. So we will ah, continue damn. on. We didn't really get much there. I didn't really expect much, but yeah. That was less than much, but it was cool seeing the excitement. Yeah, look, I, we've... Uh, like, I've talked to Mike Merles a lot before. He's been on a couple of shows that we've done. Uh, one of the most like passionate and also knowledgeable people when it comes to D and D uh, in the current mm -hmm. worlds that they've got going on there. So it's in good hands for sure. I'm it, I'm a little shocked to see him out there. Uh, <laughs> to be honest, that was surprising. But yeah, yeah. I felt for uh, I felt for Sven with the uh, console mention. It's rough because if it's if he's not doing console and he just most misspoke everybody is now expecting console right if he's do if he is doing console and he was not supposed to say it he just leaked it so yeah. either way that's got to be not a great feeling yeah i'm sure google is not too happy with that uh let's go back to the uh the ori look at this fucking game look at this i i had forgotten how good fuck? the other ones look Pretty staggering once everything gets here in motion. Go on, I skipped over it. Anything from that uh, interview that you were super into? He's looking up information. He doesn't have any thoughts. <laughs> What's going on, man? What's going on? Like, <laughs> yeah, this looks gorgeous, man. Look at that. That's not okay. No, that's not. That's not cool. This is just. We're just done. This, every, all graphics programmers, let's, we're done. It looks we did it. Drop that gorgeous. Okay. We're done. This is this what I'm. I I'm a game developer, and this looks like magic to me. Yeah. I think it's also saying something too that like the first game was no slouch in the visual department, and somehow they have like somehow done better than I could have ever, and potentially they could ever even imagine. It looks drop dead gorgeous, without a doubt. And we got a release date too, February 11th, 2020. I'm in, I'm on board. Uh, Minecraft Dungeons was the next thing from the creators of Minecraft, by the way, in case you don't know. <laughs> that was a weird <laughs> thing to say at the start of that. It was a little, uh, from the yeah, yeah. Four-player local uh, uh, yeah. online co-op. It looks cool. Looks like an ARPG. I, I wonder how um, well, in-depth they're going to go with it. Like, I hope they keep a bunch cancels. of the creative stuff, I think. What do you mean? And like building? Honestly. Yeah, well, not necessarily building, but like a lot of... I feel like there's a huge audience of kids that mostly play Minecraft and Fortnite. Right? It's just the, the sort of like... The culture... And seeing more games from there would be awesome, but I also feel like the creativity is kind of what set Minecraft apart. So I do want more. I do want more of that. I want, I want to see creativity. I want to see more building, more creating, more sharing, more together. Um, so I'm hoping that's in there. I'm hoping there's right. Yeah. I'm hoping there's ways to play together that are unexpected, ways to make levels that are different. Um, I hope it's not just a hack and slash. Me too. If anything, I hope that people are excited by ARPGs here, then they go and play Path of Exile. <laughs> I also hope, <laughs> like also hope they have Keanu Reeves in it. 
Me too. Yeah, they need to. They need to make that the bullet point of Keanu Reeves. <laughs> I can just imagine every game. like every exactly every single game, like the pros and cons. Every single game in the no con Keanu is Reeves. minus. No Keanu Reeves. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 This this needs a level editor. If this doesn't have a level editor, it's that's a failure of everything Minecraft is. Like yeah. Minecraft is creating, sharing together. So. Yeah. That said, looks cool, though. I, I was thinking about this the entire time I was watching this trailer. How many people do you think will literally just play this game because it has Minecraft attached? And because of that, how many people do you actually think that is? That has to be like millions on millions on millions on millions on millions of people. On millions yeah, of that. Yeah, tons. Times 10. Tons. <laughs> like, yeah, a lot. Yeah. A lot. Yeah, it's going to be All pretty crazy. To see that it's, yeah. it's pretty easy man just to slap some minecraft on that stuff uh co what, what did you find out you seem like you just had a, a revelation oh. well no no just a, a buddy of mine is on the main twitch page right now i didn't think he was gonna be doing anything so that's cool oh yeah. cool, cool. <laughs> that's all well, uh, and, and zeke what do you think yeah zeke okay all right mm -hmm. yeah good good cool yeah no i agree with that zeke. Ac yeah. accurate that's accurate yeah yeah he's, he's really smart right now this he's is really, really on good. point he's really on point yeah Wow. Uh, Blair Witch was after that. We saw a little bit of that then the cyberpunk stuff. Uh, what is spirit fairer? Did we, Oh, that was after cyberpunk. Oh. So I don't even remember that game existed. It's like a 15 minute, like just <laughs> gap in my memory. I don't, yeah. I think I blacked I don't know what out. Happened. <laughs> Keanu Reeves happened. Yeah. We'll show that again. Just um, so we could check it out. Here we go. It was this game right here. This, uh, but did it say like, oh, what? Yeah. okay. This looks kind of weird. There was fishing at the beginning and then you like build your house and it said exploring later, like tons of stuff, man. Yeah. Also not knowing or remembering this game is not a, a diss on this game. It's the fact that Keanu fucking Reeves was in cyberpunk yeah. and I was still adjusting to it and we were still freaking the fuck out. So, yeah. Well, so this is by, um, 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 by Thunder Lotus, who are in um, in Montreal. Mm. Uh, I don't actually know too much about this, actually. Uh, but from what I can tell from this trailer, it looks like it's a lot of things at once, yeah. right? It seems like a, sort of like an evolving village on a ship. It seems like a game that's more tandem befriend than, than fight or flight. It looks like... Um, I can't tell if it's a management game or an RPG or a sim game or whatever, but it, I dig the vibe of it a lot. Like it feels kind of Japanese anime, you know, you know, like Japanese animation movie. Yeah. Um, in in its thematics and its characters and its world, and I'm I'm yeah, I'm actually very here for that. Well, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm, I would want to see more. Uh, I'm intrigued to see what the actual uh, stuff is. Well, I don't know if you saw the other trader, but the other trader asked Keanu Reeves. Oh, um, oh, this is okay. Yeah. All right, yeah, yeah. Great. yeah. Wait, think yeah. Keanu Reeves? Like, yeah, the, like, the the only one. Oh wow. Um, okay. But yeah, before this, they did um, they did uh, other games with similar art style, but I I super forgot the name. Hmm. Uh, like. Uh, Sun, 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 thunder, thunder. I don't know. No, that's the name of the studio. The studio is Thunder Lotus. Sunder, sunder, sundered. Um, and they they always have beautiful, beautiful animation. So I'm I'm excited uh, to see what this is going to be. Yeah, it looks cool for sure. Uh, now again, go, go ahead. I was just going to say, quick quick little note, uh, it looks like uh, Brian Fargo and InXL are on Twitter, and they are assuring people that even though the trailer looks kind of like lighthearted comedy, that it is definitely like dark humor, and they are, they're going for, for a three. more serious vibe in the game. Yes, yeah. in Wasteland 3. Gotcha. Just wanted to throw that out there. So it looks like that may have, the intention may have been a little bit uh, skewed by how kind of animated things were in that. So that's, yeah, rough, I, don't yeah. know, I don't know about you guys, but that's... It's good news for me. I'm. I was. Uh, yeah. If the trailer makes you worried, <laughs> that's not a good trailer. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Um. Right yeah. Jotun. 
Jotun is the other game by. Uh, oh, they by, made. Uh, oh, Thunder really? Brothers. That was a good yeah, Jotun, game. Jotun, Thundered, and Spiritfarer. Okay. That's quite a different uh, type of game that they're making than, <laughs> than Jotun. Yeah. Uh, after Spiritfarer was this trailer, which, again, I don't remember much. Uh, it was Battletoads. What, what did this actually look like? I was still under the influence of this Keanu. was um, a yeah, super this was a game in which version. Yeah. Yeah. You play Keanu Reeves after he's been turned into a frog. So and then you beat up shit. That's really what like, it looks say, like to beat him up. During one of the scenes, like when a bunch of people were fighting, there was so much like weird super stretch, I think this part, like hyper animated yeah. things on the screen. Dude, I had trouble playing what was that game? Battle Brothers? Like sometimes I'd lose my character on the screen. And like with all these crazy ass de deformation style graphics going on, like that's gonna be, that's gonna be crazy. Yeah, I don't know if oh, I like Lord. that art style. I'm not a fan of that. Also, right here, I'm this immediately right angry. The game. I'm already yeah, know, fucking upset. Like, don't show this shit. Get this off the fucking. <laughs> Get that. Hey, dude, there. even the little jumping animations yeah. are the same. Where they kick their Jesus. legs out when they jump. That was the most triggering game for me when i was growing up because you always like get you go you, everything's good with your buddies and you're having a good time playing battle toads and you all make it to those scenes then all of a sudden like half your friends are dead there goes all their lives like oh my god dude it's the first Ooh. instance where i learned what ptsd is uh, <laughs> and i learned how that affects you post, post <laughs> toad stress disorder that's what it stands for yeah funny okay. enough that's what it's based it yeah they based it off that game um the legend of right was up after that which is that was the drawn game right it is the drawing the, game yeah the sketchy one yes the yeah. sketch joke that's what happened this one right here <laughs> um the the ui was a little like there's a lot going I could, on i could not read this game at all you could not like read i don't it? oh in As in of, a, yeah. it, it doesn't i i don't know what it's doing or what yeah, we call that read. Like this doesn't it doesn't read to me. I don't know what this is or what it does or why. Um I don't know the studio. Apparently it's a studio called Deskworks. That makes sense. Uh very busy is how I describe this game. Like there's it's so Japanese much shit. Japanese studio, apparently. Oh, okay. Huh. Yeah, I don't I don't I couldn't tell you what's going on. If you told me this wasn't a game, I'd probably believe you. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I really have absolutely no idea. Huh. It's coming out in 2020. Quick, uh, just a quick little side note. If anyone wants to get the Cyberpunk Collector's Edition, it's on Best Buy now. Uh-oh. The Best Buy. I'll wait for the... Uh, maybe I'll wait for the GameStop one. The Amazon um, one's always impossible to get. Best Buy's usually pretty good. It won some pretty good games. This, uh, this right game... Oh, and in, in terms of what they made? So no, just this specific game. One awards at the 2019 Taipei Game Show, which is a pretty tough crowd. Best Arts Award, Best Audience Award, Best Presentation Award at 2018 Sense of Wonder Night, which is big. Famitsu, Dengeki, and 4Gamer gave it a grand prize at Tokyo Game Show 2018. Got the Booth Award at 2018 Busan Indie Connect Festival. This game is big. Hmm. I didn't know that. This is a lot of this is a lot of accolades that you don't just get with a, an okay game. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm excited for that. I yeah, I have no I I, I don't know what the game is get, though. I, I need to see what the actual yeah, and, what you do. And normally I'd be a little worried about that, but given these awards, maybe it's time to just play a game and just not have any idea what it is. Maybe. Oh you know, might be a good yeah. idea. Might be a good idea. I'll go play it. After that, we got the ID at Xbox Real, <laughs> as uh, we all thought we were going to get. Um, any standouts here for... I mean, some of the stuff we've already seen, like the uh, totally accurate battle simulator we've seen before, and that's out there. Uh, I feel not most on Xbox, of this but... is not new, right? Like, most of this is stuff we've seen before or has been at a conference before. Dead Static Drive is gorgeous, beautiful game. Uh, if you don't Renegades, follow... But... Oh, also beautiful. It was at the mix at GDC... Uh, sort of an RPG-esque kind of thing. Uh, beautiful, very well rendered. Uh, after Party from the developers of the Lighthouse game. Um, how can I? How have I forgotten the name? Of... I don't know. This is your thing, man. You're you're 
Come on now. Come on now, Ron. <laughs> Night School. Night School studio, Studios, who did uh, Oxen Free. Free. Oxen Free, the lighthouse game. Hmm. Um, and then um, um, After Party looks really good. What I've played of it was, was really impressive. The Good Life from Swery about cats. Um, Spirit Fair again. Spirit Fair, we'd already seen. Yeah. Um, and then we had, um, I saw Totem Teller in there. Well, Tabs, if you haven't played Tabs, Tabs is available now and you should play Tabs. Yeah. It's, it's basically a physics simulator gone horribly wrong. Oh, it's good. Zeke, Zeke played it and we talked a lot about it. It's a lot of fun yeah. to watch. Yeah. Um, so, w- this Blair Witch, is this in the, this is after the, is this in the ID at Xbox? It is segment? in the India, uh, yeah, the ID at Xbox trailer. Yeah, I had no idea about that. Yeah, that was we, we kept thinking it was uh, Outlast, and then we thought it was Alan, Alan Wake. Wake. I, was, I was so hoping because the Alan flashlight. Wake. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I don't know about I don't know about this game. I don't know about, I can about Blair Witch. Well, also, yeah, I, I, was, I want to spend more than five seconds here in this trailer. What is Totem Teller and why does it look so fucking okay. crazy? Okay, so the, the Iconfell is made by this indie called Chevy Ray, and I am 100%, actually, I'm 1000% biased. Um, <laughs> okay. 1000%. 1, 1, so everything I say about this game, keep in mind that the guy making that game. You mean Totem Teller? Like, not not I can no uh, I can fell. Oh, okay. Gotcha, uh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. The guy making I can fell made the engine in which I made uh, Radical Fishing, which was the first game Flamber did and the first game that made us money, and thus the reason I'm even here. Gotcha. Like that's this guy. So I'm a little biased. Okay. <laughs> um, but I can fell is basically um, a wizarding school RPG, right? So it's basically Hogwarts the RPG. Um, hmm. it has a very, um, active RPG turn-based battle system. If you've played some of the, um, Paper Mario games, it feels, or, or a Super Mario uh, RPG or Paper Mario, some of them, uh, it, it has a bit of a feel of that. Um, and it has just a big, like, mysterious magic world. So that's, that's good. Cool. Um, and then, um... Totem Teller. So Totem Teller is an interesting one. I remember playing that for the first time in Australia. Um, is that it's, a PAX? Yeah, PAX. PAX Aus. That's yeah. Australia. Yeah. It's made by uh, Ben Kerslak and Jerry Verhoeven. And um, it is staggeringly beautiful. It's like they, It's like the developers found that if you program a shader and you, you accidentally have a bug, it looks better. And they just went, let's <laughs> fucking all the bugs. Like, yeah. Let's just go all out. And then at some point they just went and, 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 the, and they realized like the beauty of that and just made something gorgeous out of it. Uh, Totem Teller, it's sort of strange. I remember their pitch was something like um, um, broken places that are beautiful or... Um, Hmm. They kept talking about like locations that are broken. It's sort of like a story game. It's a walking game. It's a lot of exploring spaces, solving relatively simple puzzles. But um, a lot of it is about understanding the world, understanding the connections. And it's it's a very just gorgeous, gorgeous game. Gorgeous, without a doubt. It, it, I've never played anything like it. I've never, I've never seen anything like it. My eyes... Put it in my eyes. Yeah, I want to see more than the five seconds for sure. Uh, yeah. Uh, look up their website or something. Uh, they had some gifts on there that were gorgeous. Oh, for Totem Teller? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look that up. And that static drive is going to be real good as well. Uh, it's uh, it's good. Oh, their, their actual website looks like a painting. That right there. <laughs> that looks crazy. Yes, that. But yeah, beautiful broken places. That was it. Jeez. Yeah, that looks really cool. What do you? Huh. Okay. That looks awesome. Look at that! Come on. Between Ori and this shit, I'm just gonna. I'm done. 
Yeah, you guys are kind of screwed in the game business. We're, done. We're, done. <laughs> We're <on>. it's over. <laughs> you, you're gonna have to get a Keanu. All right. So the yeah. CD Projekt Red <laughs> knows how to fix it, and it's to uh, you know get the eye to look somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. Keanu. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. So actually, the main character in Totem Teller is Keanu Reeves. Mm. Uh, He's so just so you don't blurry, find you can't see. The, it. Yeah, you don't find out until the end of the game. Spoilers. Right. 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 Uh, after all that stuff, they started kind of getting into the nitty gritty of the business. They talked about the game pass stuff. Still hard to believe that it's, you can jump in today for a buck, uh, and get the game That's pass wild. ultimate, a single yep. dollar. You get access to a ton of stuff, uh, including Metro Exodus. So I mean, gamers like the ultimate versions, you know? Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. yeah. Good though. Like this is this is the deal, right? Like this is what they the, this is what they've been promising for a long time, and here it is. Like, right. No line between Xbox and PC. Yeah. Yeah. It's um, good. They're not quite there yet, but they're getting there, and that's that's it. Good start. It's it's definitely a good, good start. start. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It. Yeah. I. I feel like Sony kind of got a hold of that stuff in terms of like, hey, did you get your free game this month from Sony? And then, like, Xbox was always just kind of mute. They didn't really do too much there. And now they're starting to uh, to kind of get back into the uh, the sentences, the, the, the world, I guess, the gaming world's thoughts of, like, oh, yeah, I should get that yeah. Game Pass this month. It's got X for the, free. For the person asking in chat how the games that come out on Game Pass make money, usually what they do is they just sign a deal up front where the developer gets a certain amount of money. So they calculate how many people they think will download the game and then offer you a flat fee up front. Um, so for a lot of games, it's actually sort of a sort of a good deal yeah. uh, in general. It's also why that model is so popular on the Epic Game Store and on PlayStation. It's just... It's a sure way of making a certain amount of money and also generating conversation about the game. So it's kind of a kind of a win-win. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like it. Um, from there, we talked about Flight Simulator. They did Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition, <sighs> which is remastered for 4K. Uh, Flight Simulator is my childhood. Like, the first games <laughs> I played are like... Yeah. With, no, seriously. Okay, so when I was a kid, right, like, <laughs> I had this shitty computer... Um, from my, from my dad got this computer and I could play Jump Joe, which if like, I swear to God, if you just type in Google, just try type like Jump Joe gameplay or something. Let's see. Like find this game, this, this <laughs> game, uh, Janitor Joe or Jump Joe, both of them were fine. Gotcha. Um, this game was the first game, uh, one of the first games I ever played this? and it was the, the, yeah, it's a fucking nightmare. It's horrifying. This is the worst game I've ever played in my life. Uh, and that's fucking 25 years ago. Uh, there was a secret timer in the background where if you play for like four minutes, it was entirely game over in the game. Touching anything would kill you. Grabbing keys was that like it was the wor it was fucking awful. But it was the only game I had. So I played it forever. Right. The only other game I had was Gorillas, which was a QBasic tutorial file. Now, the third game I played was something called MiG-29 Fulcrum. Mm -hmm. And it was a flight sim game um, for MS-DOS. And it was one of those games. It was like you, you played a Russian MiG-29, which was supposed to be like the fastest airplane ever built. You had to play like, press like 27 buttons to take off. I didn't speak English. So... <laughs> I, I had no game. idea what to do, right? Um, and but it was my it was my obsession that game because it was the first three D game I played. It was beautiful, and for because of that game, I just kept playing Flight Sims because it was just it was the that was the shit that was like it was three sure. D. It was cool. You were flying around terminal velocity, flight simulator, uh, descend. Uh, yeah, you're like Eurofighter, like all of those games. Just, I played all of them, all of them forever, and that the this is coming like yeah, got the got the flight stick, got the SciTech X fifty two, started making uh, space sims. Like this is where I started. It's fine. I'm a nerd. Like I'm a huge nerd. I will I will own it. I will stand on that corner. Give me the flight games. Put totem teller in my eyes. 
put flight simulator in my veins. I'll be uh, if that does come probably to PC, don't let me fight. If that comes to PC, I'd love to and and we're I'm gonna say the word, but we're not gonna discuss it any more than this. I'd love to see VR in the flight sim game. Oh, yeah. That'd be great just to be able to. It feels like a no brainer. Yeah, it really it it honestly, I agree. Feels like a no brainer. Feels like my a best VR experience by far was in Elite Dangerous. Like that being able to fly and like fly by something and like turn your head and watch it while you fly by right. is just one of the coolest feelings I've ever I've heard, had in gaming. I've heard the uh, Ace Did Combat you? stuff for PSVR is really good as well. Real good, but I fucking fell over in my on my couch. <laughs> I pulled, really. But, I pulled such a tight corner that I leaned in against it and then like rolled over. And it was the most embarrassing. Thing. I believe it. I was like, I, I was like, it. okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's take that turn. And I was like, oh shit. And I just fell over. It was so good. <laughs> I was so happy, but I was so embarrassed and so happy. I was the only one in the room. I believe it. I believe it. Uh, we talked a little bit about the Wasteland 3 stuff. Co confirmed that they were out there on Twitter trying to say that that's not going to be the tone of the game. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the tone of the game seems to be a lot more serious than the, yeah. the. I actually watched the trailer again, and I think a big part of it is like it definitely makes the game look like a joke. It like does. The campy music, the over animated narrator, the characters they feature, the gameplay even looks like it looks. The gameplay looks out of Rage too, like yeah, with just giant explosions like. and things blowing up and like it. It yeah. But uh, Brian Fargo and In Exile are on Twitter, and they're like, no, no, no. We, we made the trailer to just kind of like make you guys laugh and entertain you, but the game is going to be a lot more serious. I, I wonder if that a was a more result. dark humor instead of comedy. Yeah, I wonder if that was a result of like trying to get the Borderlands hype around uh, somehow associated with this game because it really did feel. Yeah, I've never played Wasteland 2, but this looked nothing. It was so different that we were saying, like, no, this is not Wasteland. There's no way this is Wasteland. I didn't, dude. Yeah. I saw that when that when that uh, uh, mechanical arachnid burst out of the ground. Yeah, that is the Wasteland Two thing. Like that that arachnid is what is mm -hmm. on the main title page of Wasteland Two. I saw that, still wasn't fully convinced. I was watching Wasteland Three. I was like, Yeah, I, I think it. I think yeah. like, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it was conflicting nice. emotions. <laughs> yeah, it was really odd. I'm not. I. I hope they know what they're doing. Like the this trailer does not feel like it was thought through very well, to be honest. It feels more Yeah, it feels yeah, not not I, I would have done something else. The but, other, yeah. You know what? Um people are talking about it. People that like Wasteland will have seen the Wasteland gameplay in there and the gameplay that's in there. Really good. Sure. So, so for the record, um Brian Fargo one of the NXL guys, he actually just sent me a message on Twitter, and he's like, the video is our version of sarcasm. Don't worry. It's super brutal. You're not. <laughs> I bet you the next trailer, they're just going to have a guy stand there and like start taking shots at him and little bits of his body. Are gonna oh. fall off the, they're well, just no, going to lean what, into what, it. What would be kind of fun <laughs> is if they had like that trailer, and then they released another trailer that yeah. was like the serious one, and right. it like showed like gameplay and talked a little bit about the narrative and then it's like the juxtaposition could be really cool so it's like if you're a fan of the goofy here you go and if you want something more serious right <laughs> but, honestly the question that, that whole trailer once you get past kind of why are they doing the sarcasm and whatnot is how are they going to make this work on a console that was the immediate thing in my mind is like how do you play wasteland 3 on a console what does that look you like you would think that really but they they did it with ds dos2 Really, DOS2 and it worked well. Console and people are liking it. I haven't played it myself, but I have heard good things about DOS Two on console, and that is a very similar style game. So, yeah, huh? Yeah. Okay. And apparently, Wasteland Two is also on console, and it so works well. The, it's on the Switch, I've, really. Yeah, there you go. Huh? I might have to look that up. I might have to look. Well, that up. Switch yeah. is always a strange one because it is also a touch screen, isn't it? So. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But yeah, I think I think Wasteland is on everything. So. Yeah. Uh, what else? Right after that, uh, Double Fine uh, is joining Xbox Studios. I think that's a pretty big I hope Tim can still, I hope Tim Schafer can still make jokes about um, Stuff. audiences on yeah. at the IGF and GDC. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, we'll see. That, I think the other thing, too, at least I saw a lot of comments in chat when he was on stage talking, is like, can you just finish something? 
Like, can you just finish a project before you get some more money? Just, just what? Just make, just finish it. Just put some, put a done thing yeah. out there, uh, which is not <laughs> um, not the worst thought, I guess. But yeah, Psychonauts two, maybe that's the thing I'll finish because they showed a trailer up next right after that, and it looks about as weird as Psychonauts one in all the good ways. Um, I was a huge Psycho one or Psychonauts <laughs> one fan. Psycho one. Uh, back in the day, whenever that launched, it feels like that was what ten years ago, something like that. I think over. Um, but dude, Psychonauts to this day is still one of the more unique games I've ever played. Mm -hmm. From the mechanics of the game world, from the creativity of the presentation, from the fact that you never know what to expect when you play that game. Totally. Like the game will mm -hmm. tell you you're gonna do this really simple thing. Go do it. And then you go to start doing it and like you open a door or something. And then all of a sudden you realize like all the islands are floating or the world is spinning or it's like just you never you're always not comfortable in that game in a great way, in a, in a very good way. You never you never feel like you know what's coming. And uh, that's one of the reasons I loved it. Yeah, it's definitely a, uh, a mind fuck without a doubt. <laughs> they, they have some Completely. clever ways of dealing with it uh, and, and dealing with the mind in a sense to, to be blunt about it. Um, it looks cool though. I, I mean, I mean, I was in when they announced that. So a trailer like this doesn't really serve a purpose for me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Those are teeth though. And if they have a fucking thing where they go <laughs> into the dentist bullshit and fears of the dentist, then I'm not playing that fucking game. I'm, I mean, at some point game. you're going to get spit out of the mouth. Probably. And yeah. it turns out you turn into a mind flayer. Yeah. Jesus. This is actually a Baldur's Gate. <laughs> That's how Baldur's Gate happens. A hundred years. This is this is and Baldur's then Keanu comes out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I really want everything at E3 to just be one game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all I'd one game. I'd be up for that. It's all one giant it's simulation. All... They finally like all, figured out how to make the simulation, and that's what they're trying to let us know. Keanu's trying to save us by just popping up randomly in our games. Dude, <laughs> this, this is the beginning of Microsoft Hearts. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. This, this is the beginning of the Matrix. The game world is just a completely different game. We're still and the so fucking Matrix, and Keanu's still the one. He tried in the movies, but now he's trying the game route to try to warn us about the machines. It all makes sense. It I'd makes so sense. Up. How did we not see it before? I don't know. I would be so up for Microsoft Hearts because they're already doing it with the naming thing. It's like the Xbox, the Xbox 360, the Xbox One. It's like it's already happening. They're already doing the the Hearts naming conventions. That's true. Done. Next is going to be the Xbox One over 365. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's gonna and happen. it just keeps going. It's going to happen. Uh, after that, the Skywalker Saga from the Lego uh, people. That's coming out. I might, that might be my first Lego game. Yeah. The Lego games are not bad, but if you've played a Lego game, you kind of played them all. That's the thing with Lego games. So, yeah, that's the, that's the thing with Lego games. They're yeah. all good, but they're all just good. There's right. not a single Lego game that makes me go like, you have to absolutely play this. But if you said, I want to play a Lego game, I'd be like, yes, please go play that. Like, <laughs> it, you will have a great time. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to loop this in here because we're talking Lego. I did not expect to see Lego and Forza be a thing, but it's 2019, so why not? Uh, this is a very weird... thing also there was a car made out of legos on stage we should note that it was a very nice best looking part. car probably the best part of that but yeah uh i just want to i want i wonder the rights management for this game must be intense right because yeah. they're both dealing with lego and but also those cars have like real brands on them those yeah. are like actual cars with full brands and everything yeah, I bet you. I bet you the licensors were like, "No, wait a second. You're not gonna. You're not gonna show these cars broken, right?" And they're like, "Well, they're yeah. Legos. Yeah. That's like, how oh, they get okay. around it. Yeah. Do whatever you want." Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't realize that for the longest time. Like a lot of times, the reasons that, that oh, car yeah. companies didn't want their brands in racing games is because they don't want their brand on cars that are deformed by damage. Yep. So yep. it's like any car or any game that featured like destructible vehicles. Most companies are like, "Nope, don't don't or, want it." Pay a shit ton of money. Right. Yep. I, it makes you wonder too, at least this is something I've thought about, how much that contributed to 
Burnout is a franchise dying because they couldn't get the funding <laughs> to put some of those cars in any of those games. And it was the best racing game to yeah. ever exist, as far as I'm concerned. So, I mean, the, the old Burnout, like Burnout 2 and 3, those, those were good. And then Split Second. And I kind of really liked Onrush, too. I'm sad about Onrush. Yeah, Onrush so was pretty on. good. Onrush, was, Onrush good. was so good. I loved Onrush. Uh, that was much just Split Second. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That Dragon Ball project got a name. Uh, Dragon Ball Kakarot. Kakarot. Now, this, maybe this is going to, this will probably sound ignorant. At what point do we get tired of playing the same Dragon Ball story over and 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 now for the 90th game? Like, it's literally the same fucking story. <laughs> According good, to chat, I, never. According to... Uh, I'm okay. never. tired. As okay. soon as this watch, it's the next minute. Okay. okay. As, soon as, as soon as that hand is there, I'll get tired. Okay. All right. Just keep watching. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, Cole. First of all, mm -hmm. how dare you? Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Second of all, mm -hmm. how dare you? Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. I think when Zeke stops having that pose, it's that might be. It might be. I want, the other thing too. I, they only showed up to the Frieza saga. So is that <laughs> yeah, where this ends? Like, are they not doing the cell or any of the boo stuff? Or I mean, depends on what they're doing the filler episodes, I guess. Yeah, that's true. If they're doing the filler episodes, this is a sixty-hour game. If they're not doing the filler episodes, then I hope there's more. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a sixty-minute game. <laughs> it's just Goku going. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> you have to press X, just jam the button for sixty minutes. That's all it is. Hey, you know? it's a good sixty minutes, though. I mean, okay? you're not. Yeah. You look, yes, coming home watching this on Toonami when I was fourteen for the first time was fucking. I will hype. say, dude, growing up, I, it. It made me so angry because I was the same way. I used to watch Dragon Ball Z uh, like in the afternoons and 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 uh, the adult first first adult swim stuff that they ever did, I think, was a lot of the Dragon Ball Z stuff. And I'll never forget the, the, the first time that I learned where it's like, OK, that episode ended and they are like this close to fighting. Yes. So it's the next episode for sure. And I kid you not, the next episode was 30 straight minutes of goku powering up yep and five yep. minutes of gohan chilling with bulma yep. <laughs> it's just like ah, it's, no yep <laughs> it's always like it's always like the pan shot of the eyes looking real serious where he's like like really frowning and it's like just a pan shot of just the eyes and you're yep. like oh shit, oh, yeah. it's real and then it's just yeah. like a far away shot of him standing there with like light around him and you're like oh shit, now it's for real and then like a close a far away shot that's just the two of them standing across each other and then back to the eyes, and you're like, wait, I saw that already. Are, is yeah. this a and then in the background, you're just <laughs> of the power just surging. <laughs> yeah, that's just when you get the power up sequences that are literally two different frames, and they just go, <laughs> for like a straight five minutes. It's just two different frames. So, and then it just like that, it cuts to a different perspective. Same distance away and everything. Well, Two different frames. And then he's standing there. So, <laughs> it's just nonstop. Me, That's Dragon Me Ball. and my brother used to watch that when we were younger. And the my mom still has like bad memories about that because she would be in the kitchen, like preparing dinner or, you know, like just trying to do work. And there would just, she had no idea of context. She never watched because she couldn't see the TV from there. But she just had this guy going, uh, <laughs> like, 30 minutes straight and she's like can you turn this off i don't know what oh what christ oh, we need christ. to have a talk yeah I'm, I'm absolutely <laughs> that, and i will 100 percent play it yeah yeah uh for my perspective i think this might have been the best trailer of the entire thing i thought this all four of us shut up we didn't say a single thing. We just sat here and we're like, what the fuck is he What shit he's saying? He's already done. Dude, what the for fuck me, is going on? this went from, oh, this is Groundhog's Day. This is not Groundhog's Yeah, you Day. said that joke and then we all <laughs> shut up. We all were like, like stop it. Stop fucking. <laughs> so, what was 
is that about a murder? <laughs> like, yeah. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> so twelve minutes has been in development since two thousand and like anything. Like I, I re- this. I must have seen this at like IndieK twenty thirteen or something. Right. Jeez. And back then, it was already dense and rough and like just it, the exact same response I had seeing this game now where you're just like what the f- like, this is messed up yeah and I, this this developer uh, his name is Louis uh, Luis um, he has been working with a laser focus on this one right huh. and it's not it's not taking a long time because he's doing scope creep it's not taking a long time like he worked on the witness in the meanwhile and a bunch of other stuff um but this game has such um, a scope and such a, um, a focus that I think it's it. Based on what I played years ago, it was already special. But seeing this and just rem- remembering how much that tiny demo had an impact on me, like this game is going to be very special yeah. because if five minutes can be that intense, and we're looking at it right now. And there's tons of content I've never seen before. Like, this is going to be something special. It looks okay. Cool. So, Rami, I, I wanted to ask you about this during the show, and I forgot. And now you just mentioned and touched on a little bit. So I want to know a couple of things. First of all, um, I was wondering, like, the game itself does not look super complicated, but you're saying that he was working on other projects. That's why the development has been so long. Like, it hasn't been his full focus. Yeah, he he's had he he works at um, he worked at the Thecla on the witness uh, as well, so it's not been his full uh, focus, but it is always in the back of his mind. Like you can tell, the way he talks about it, this is his this is it, this is his thing. And also, uh, to quickly follow up, you said you've played it. Um, what yes. we saw obviously looked in-game engine, but we saw no gameplay. At least I don't think so. How does that game play? So I think at some point there was a video of the game already. I think there's a the oh. video out there, but it's basically sort of like an interactive. Um, it looks like that. That's what the game looks like. There's nothing about that that is fake, that is in engine, that is uh, what it looks like. You're basically trying to convince um, to convince this your 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 partner that I forgot if it's wife or girlfriend or anything. You're you're trying to convince the other person in the room that something bad is about to happen. And that right. was as far as uh, where he was back then. Um, but I think it was played um, it was played a while ago when I think Louis was looking for, um, for publishers. Hmm. Um, so um, it's, yeah, if you want to, I would recommend to just not look anything up. Yeah, um, that's a, I, I kind of want to go in but, blind after everything that mm, we've seen and, okay. and watched. The, yeah. uh, chat definitely had the same reaction I did when the door opened and the man walked through. I thought this was somehow related to Hitman because he was bald and he looked like the age of 47. And I was about to be really, I don't want to say upset, but like disappointed that Hitman was a thing uh, in this style. But then was pleasantly surprised that no, it was just some random thug that apparently burst down the door. So. Well, yeah, and then Keanu Reeves comes in. Sure, and saves the day. Yeah. 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 And he um, just walks in, and he just he just walks up, and he says, Cyberpunk! Mm. And then he just leaves again. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That was so good. That was really good. That was really good. So good. Uh, he, just, like, he just stood there, and he just went, Cyberpunk! And that was it. That was, that was the whole thing. It was really good. Uh, Way to the Woods was the next game that showed up. Whoops. Uh, I don't remember... Oh, this is the deer game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is the uh, yeah. cell shaded hatred uh, born into video games once again. Yeah, yeah. by Antonio Tan, who is mm. literally a kid, L- literally a kid. Yeah, like not even kidding. This is a kid. I think when I first saw this, he was like sixteen or something. Huh. Well, he's That's got a big fucking ago, stage for. <laughs> What the fuck? You don't make this as a... Uh, you don't... D- no. God. <laughs> Stop Wrong. it. Be bad. Unaccept- come on. <laughs> be bad like I was... <laughs> I was 18, goddammit. Unacceptable. Yeah, come on. <laughs> but it's like that water is emptying. Did you see that? Yeah. 
Yeah, Did you see that effect on how that water empty? That's a cheat. Like, yes, that works. You, if you look at it closely, you see what he's doing. It's smart. There's just a little plane going over there. There's three of them. It's smart. It looks good. It looks professional. It looks trip away. You don't do that when you're 17 more years old. <laughs> when you're 17 years old, you either do it not at all because it's too hard, or you do it in the most complicated way, and then it's shit. This this is perfect. That's upsetting. Well, play, <laughs> yeah, you can play it all. I'm angry. In 2020, Rami, play the woods. Yeah, play the woods. The gear stuff was after that. I was. That was a weird now, way to show gears. We didn't see anything on Gears Five, did we? Outside of that, like Kojima esque face thing, we saw the DLC character, which was the Terminator. The Terminator guy. We saw the new and mode. Like, and all all the mode stuff was for a horde thing. Yeah, that, that was, was escape that was... mode. Uh, we yeah. saw the cinematic, which was the main character that the Basically, game that right. yeah that is kind of spoilery if you know what's going on there. Um, right. And then that was kind of it. And that game comes out in September. So, so I wonder if it's just like guys, it's just more gears. Like you're just gonna. I really uh, want yeah, more I, gears. I say, you're just gonna. This is the gears. last big opportunity to show like the meat of Gears Five, and I feel like they just didn't do that at all. Yeah, yeah. Multiplayer beta starts in a month. More of a like some horde mode compartmentalized than they did the actual Gears Five game. Yeah, you know, it it makes me think with multiplayer beta coming in a month that it's just literally more gears. Which you're either into that or you're not. They're not trying to reinvent the wheel here at the end of the console cycle, uh, and they're probably already working on whatever the next gears thing will be, um, and, and potentially trying to reinvent the wheel there with gears. But the the Gears Four was kind of like. It was a little bit of a reboot to begin with for the franchise, but it was still at its core like a cover shooter. It was the Gears gameplay that you um, you yeah. want from a Gears game. So you're either into that I, or not. I don't know. I, I kind of feel Gears lost Gears at Gears 2, after Gears 2. Uh, it, like Gears 3 was the first one where they had all these exploding enemies, and it, it just doesn't make sense. Like Gears was always about flanking, moving forward, suppressive fire and then the final enemy you always go in with a fucking chainsaw that's right. how gears work sure if the final enemy if you chainsaw the final enemy and that explodes that's not a gears game yeah it was always supposed to be the chainsaw is how you know the battle is over because you use that whenever you can and you can mostly use it when it's the last enemy right and it just Three just kind of lost it, and then four. There was judgment in the middle, which was that weird, like small, small encounter thing, right? It was all these small little, uh, discrete encounters, and then four was like, yeah, four was. It was okay. It it had good stuff, but again, like they haven't gone back to that point. Like I don't want to chain. Like I don't want to chainsaw robots. Come on. <laughs> Yeah. What's the point? Yeah, I mean, like, again, me... like this is all a giant spoiler that I don't think that's going to be the main focus of the game. But robots were a, kind of a big focus. I I guess they were a focus in uh, Gears Four. Now that I'm thinking about it, but yeah, I just want to chainsaw. I want to chainsaw the. I want to chainsaw the locust. Yeah, you just want to chainsaw some motherfuckers. I, I get it. Yeah, I just like it. just like the arms <laughs> like dude, like I, I get it. I just right, like yeah, wreck those guys. Here's what I will say though for Gears fans, because uh, I live with one. We have, as I said on the pre-show, we I, we have a life-size chainsaw from Gears in our house. Uh, I got a all caps text. Oh my fucking god! I can't wait for next <laughs> month to play Gears Five. So, it, I think that. You know, the audience that wants that is super into it. So that's probably why they're not changing too, too much up. Um, yeah. So maybe the next one they will. But I can't wait for Gears, like Master Chief Edition or something. <laughs> well, didn't they I remaster? Like they remastered the second one, I thought. Didn't they? Yeah. I, I mean, want a better if they're, they're going to pull in Terminator skins, they could go Monster Hunter with it and that's just like start true. bringing in all the big characters. <laughs> that is a really, that's a weird thing. That's a weird thing. Now, if to think to think about that, Terminator is a DLC character for Gears Five. Missed opportunity that they didn't put on a little stage. Yeah, that would have really wrapped it up. That would have been good. That would have been good. Uh, right after that, they announced the new Elite 
controller, which I'm. Can we early. actually can we go back one more time to what and just talk about the twenty to forty hours of work somebody had rigging and testing that camera to go into the stage, turn left. Right. Yeah, that's true. Everything. Yeah. What that was such an odd oh, thing. Gosh. That oh. that felt like such a weird, just globally weird thing. It never like, really is there, went anywhere. Yeah. Like, is there yeah. anybody who who had saw that and just went like, "Wow," or was everybody just like? Welcome, what? guys, to the fucking dungeon. Xavier Woods is down here. He's playing Gears. Listen to him. You can hear some sparks going. <laughs> By the way, let's check out the new mode. <laughs> like, it, yeah. was, it was weird, like, man. They always have that one thing where they kind of like flex their like stage, but usually they just drop a car from the ceiling where I'm like, cool. Yeah, look but at this. Look this, at look, this. This looked like the stage exploded. It was like weird. Somebody, like somebody rigged up the electronics wrong. It's very strange. You're not wrong. Like, are we sideways now? Like, dude. No, 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 that's normal camera. It's it's normal. Yeah. yeah. What is the orientation of this camera? What is happening? Quick, quick side note. Keanu's character in Cyberpunk is named Johnny Silverhand. Of course, that's perfect. That's great. <laughs> John Wick, Johnny Mnemonic. <laughs> yeah, I meant to. I meant to. Love it. Yeah, this was very strange. I'm glad we went back to that. I forgot about this. Very odd. Well, that's the thing; it's entirely forgettable. It's like not special or impactful or cool. Yeah, it's You're not wrong. Just weird. And then there's this viscera moment to show off, I guess, the new mode. Yeah, it 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 was weird. It felt a little disjointed. It was a weird way to show gears, I think. And then the song choice I was not necessarily the biggest fan of uh, with oh, the crazy and then also train again rap throwing song. up blood. Yeah. What is it with oh. throwing up blood this year? I don't know. It's all the it's all the rage. This is Microsoft Hearts. Yeah, it's all the rage. All games which people bluff, throw up blood. Yeah. Okay. It's well, this just game. got significantly cooler. Think, Johnny Silverhand is an established character in the cyberpunk world. Yeah, so I saw that like, in chat. Yeah. During the dude, show. I, I haven't I haven't read that. Apparently, I need to get some books. You gotta get some that. books, man. You gotta get. Yeah, I got. Gotta get I got like. I gotta get Here's what, that's dude, right. Just go under just chatting and just read the books to your chat so you guys can all get caught. <laughs> okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing Reading it. with Co. 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 Co Carnage reads. Yeah, Co Carnage reads. The last book I read was was uh, Neuromancer for like the fifth time. So mm. it's mm -hmm. whenever I want to read, I just read that book again. <laughs> just yeah. over and over. Yeah, it's over just and over and over. Just every time you're on the last page, you're like, huh. So weird. I feel like I've read this before. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Uh, what was after that? The new. We're starting to. We have about an hour, I think, till Bethesda starts. So we need to start wrapping up here pretty soon. New Elite controller, totally fucking in. The fact that it has a rechargeable battery is the best news ever, and it's forty hour charge. It's the best thing ever. Eighty, a hundred eighty. Well, is it forty hour charge, or is the case forty hour charge? What do you? Mean? Oh, it you seems mean like it's a charging case? Are you saying no? No, I'm saying the battery has forty hours of usage. Yeah, but I don't know if that's the controller battery or the case charging in. Like, is there a battery in the case? Because they said wire. They said charging case. Oh. So is that just you just charge it through the case, or does the case have a battery? Oh, I don't know. If so, that's less hype than what I had thought. I mean, it's still you just put the controller in the case and they play more. I never play forty hours in a row. Yeah. It said 40 hours be, per charge, according to people, but there also yeah. is a charging station. I don't know. I'm not I, I'm not a Twitch streamer. I don't play 40 hours. Like, I develop 40 hours in a row sometimes. Sure. But no, I get it. I got it. I got it. That's awful. Don't do that, by the way. Never develop 40 <laughs> hours in a row. The shit you, the mistakes you make end up, your game ends up looking like Totem Teller. Mm-hmm. Wait, that's in great. A bad way. I should do that. It, well, maybe. Yeah, maybe. but not yeah, not good. In a bad way, yeah. 180 bucks for that. It's got Bluetooth, it's got custom profiles. The Bluetooth thing's pretty cool now that they announced that you can do Xbox and PS4 controllers with uh the Apple stuff. I guess that was last week, so apparently this will work with that. So uh just saying the Eden Elden Ring Twitter is up. Uh okay. And this is the first line in the Elden Ring Twitter bio. Let's hear it. The the largest from software game to date. Oh my. Dark Souls 2 is a pretty big fucking game. Oh my. Are they going to base it like a George R.R. R. Martin book that you're just walking for 40 minutes? 
and then something happens. Just in great it's detail. Just in, it's like it's, it's one just to a one quop. scale. Yeah. <laughs> That's just quop. You're walking. Yeah. It's on the hill. Yeah. You're walking for the next seventy minutes. Yeah, let's let's let me bring up that trailer again. Uh cause they didn't show much. <laughs> Dude, it's like... They didn't show anything. Yeah, it it I mean it was it was just like a bunch of weird pictures and animations. A cracked guy. They mentioned a ring. He was using an anvil. A dude wearing another dude's arm with lots of arms on his back. Um, he apparently could move the arms' fingers, which is really creepy. Uh, yeah. A, okay. A lot of people are picking that up in chat. It, there was like a lot of Lord of the Rings stuff in there. In fact, like one of the cutscenes in the last one was that dude was super big about the anvil and making the ring and stuff. It was there was a lot of tangents, but obviously this is totally different. But uh, also, I think yeah, this one is yeah. Norse. You guys mentioned. Yeah, it's, right? some of the leak was saying that it's Norse and there's yeah. a lot of horse riding. That was the part of the leak was that there's a lot of horse riding and traversal. So it's basically Lord of the Rings. Like, yeah, Lord of the Rings, uh, yeah, wasn't Lord of the Rings also kind of like around? I think Lord of the Rings was just based around language, wasn't it? It was a book about language. Because mm. he was a linguist that Theme just really wise. wanted to write less languages, and then he just made up countries that spoke languages. Sure. Yeah. This is fuck. This is the only thing that was interesting because of how fucking creepy it was. That person what? has a person's hand on her hand, and somehow she's moving that hand. With her hand inside of that hand, it's a, I think it's a he. Or is it a, is that a he? I don't know. I don't know, man. Just say 2019. Man. They, that was, they, they, they had a thing. Yeah. yeah. Always works. This person puts a an that arm. Puts a limb on Sekiro style. Yeah, that's interesting. Also, look at her other hand. Apparently, it's like falling apart or got some kind of thing on it. Some kind of yeah. Maybe that's that's their arm though. Maybe that's that's where that other arm comes from. That dude looks badass. Yeah, she I mean, it, it looks, looks it looks Dark Soulsy to be honest. Yes, well, yeah, uh, yes. Like, this is the type of trailer where it's like, I'm art. Look, you guys don't have to make these trailers. Just say that it's a game made by From Software, and give show us what the act like. Show us the meat and bones because we already know what the game is. <laughs> a From Software joint. Yeah, that's all you got to say. <laughs> just say that. Just say it. That's that's all we need. Cause this, this is just like they're doing that artsy shit again. It's gonna. It's not. We'll see what the actual game is in a couple months. So, we'll see. Elden Ring. That's a wow. Thing. Cyberpunk. Is that would be yeah, that person. The person in chat saying that the game is just forging weapons for people. I'm in for that. That'd be cool. That'd be great. You're just like a blacksmith. Can you open a little like store? Game. Yeah, blacksmith yeah, simulator. Right. That's what I want. Yeah. You just go like, yeah, yeah, no, I, I can make your weapon. Just bring me 20 silver. And then the person leaves and goes and gets 20 silver and you just hang out. Yeah, it'd be good. Uh, Co, what were we saying about Cyberpunk? Uh, apparently, uh, PC Games N is reporting it's already the best selling, best selling game on Steam. Oh, That's yeah. not including yeah. any of the other places it's available. Sure, totally makes sense. Please um, don't pre-order games, people. Please. Just in general. <laughs> like... I really want to get rid of that in our industry. Really? Well, let me tell you about the uh, Amazon Blacksmith hey, app, Rami. I, I pre-ordered you a copy, too. Yeah, we got you one, Rami. Sorry. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> that one's okay, but all these other games don't pre-order them. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, what else was there? Gears Pop. Dying Light 2 looked cool, but looked like more Dying Light 2. There's yeah, we're ready to see. We, we we we've everything in the Dying Light Two promo was cool, but we have seen and known about most of that already. Now we didn't know that the main character. I don't believe we knew until now the main character was infected. That's going to bring in an interesting right little bit. I wonder how that's going to play into I the story. I hope they don't give him like powers or anything. Like I, that's actually what I was wondering. Yeah, yeah like is well, he? Didn't they, that? they did that in the Dead Dying Light One DLC, kind of right. In sort of. Uh, in Dying Light yeah. One's DLC, you end up infected and you have all these like weird ass powers, and then you die. Yeah, I was going to say though, at the end Wait, of that, yeah, <laughs> that's a little final. Your character wasn't named Aiden in that game, was it? No. Wait, I don't say his... Was his name Aiden? Maybe it... That. it's matthew uh, mercer yeah it was crane that's right it was crane yeah. so this aiden guy is is somebody new 
um, Matthew and, and of course, as we know from Dying Light One, like being infected, even the this is a little bit spoilery. Sorry, guys, but like Rami said, you know, in Dying Light One, the dude gets infected, and then he like walks the line between human and infected until at the end, he eventually like, like that's it. So, I wonder if the whole point of Dying Light Two is like you're doomed from the beginning. I don't yeah, know. That could be interesting. Maybe mm. I know. Anyway. But here's the thing: Dying Light was good for its progression and its nighttime, right? Like the the thing that game did really well is at the start, every zombie will fuck your shit up. Yeah. By the end, you're just basically walking over their faces to <laughs> the next thing. Like you don't care. You're just like on his face, on his face, on his face, on her face, on his face, on her face. Yeah. On this next building. Um. That's that's what made Dying Light so good. Like I remember the first time it was night and dying light. I was fucking terrified because it is dark. That's like what I remember games, from the when game, make, yeah. When we make night, we just make shit blue. I don't know if you've ever seen a video game. If you ever looked at how we do nighttime in video games, we just turn on a blue shader and turn on orange lights. That's it. That's how you make night. That's how every game does it. You never made it dark. Because mm -hmm. dark is bad. You can't say you see shit, so you make it blue. Dying light was just like, no, we just turn off the lights. That's fucking scary. <laughs> Dying light, like you're blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. We're not blue. blue. Exactly. Uh, well, we'll see more of that on Square Enix's panel uh, tomorrow yeah. night because that's I think that's it was a surprise to see that here, uh, but we'll definitely see more of that there. I would think because they're mm -hmm. publishing it. Uh, what else? Gears Pop. Skip over it. It's the iOS, Android, Gears of War mobile game. Uh, State of Decay Two Heartland. It's an expansion for the game. I. I, yeah, I think that's a thing. I don't know. <laughs> Not super into it. Uh, Fantasy Which Star one? Online 2 was right after that. Yeah. 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 And especially yeah. if it's going to be free to play. Like, I'm, I'm, I, dude, I toned out of the final, the Fantasy Star universe, um, like in the Dreamcast era. Yeah. So I kind of wonder at this point, like, if it's free to play, does that mean it's like, super monetized or is it still like fun like i'm i'm kind of i'm kind of curious if it's gotten paid a winny like i don't know i mean i wanted to get excited for it but i got to admit like 90 percent of my excitement was the nostalgia right i, I yeah lots and lots of questions <laughs> now now that the the nostalgia has worn off now it's just like <laughs> what are we doing here sure yeah, i mean they seem to go the same direction as uh as uh final fantasy 15 with sort of like the more actiony uh, combat stuff mm -hmm. um and i love that it seems to be also similar to final fantasy kind of the 15 and like that beautiful mix i mean i guess that's what fancy star always kind of did right the beautiful mix of technology and and fantasy sure. um so all this looks good to me i want anime bullshit in my games there you go uh speaking of anime bullshit Actually, it's not anime bullshit at all. Crossfire X, uh, after that was that CSGO uh, South Korean game <laughs> that had the oddest trailer for a CSGO, like, the trailers meant nothing. It was a bunch of people sitting at a boardroom table with some guns, and then a goddamn uh, airplane shot a missile and the building collapsed. By the way, this is a CSGO clone from South Korea. Did you see when that building was collapsing, the one guy at the table just seemed really annoyed and then slammed his fist on the table? Yeah. If you looked behind that guy, there were people that items were falling through their bodies and they were disintegrating. So I think it was a hologram. Uh... That's why he was so chill. It's because they were having a meeting with the hologram. Okay. I picked up wait, on that wait, too. Wait, 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 wait. Very chill. Wait, wait. Chat says Remedy tweeted that they are working on the Crossfire X single player campaign. Remedy tweeted. That's, huh. Wait, what? Rip. Remedy is making a single player campaign for the game, according to chat. What? Yeah, no, they tweeted that. Okay. Why oh, wasn't that, in, was that in the trailer? No, it talked about Smilegate. No. We're very proud well, to be that's... working with. Smilegate Entertainment to deliver the single player campaign for Crossfire X launch Alan Wake Remedy 2020. Huh. Yeah, they also did I Quantum mean, Break and Max Payne. Yeah. Yeah, they're Alan Wake. They're, they are this, like, Remedy is like, okay, you put Bungie is like up here for me, and then Remedy is like right there. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay. They're both 
they're both up there. Those are like for AAA studios. Those are my. Yeah, I don't know why you. Those would, are the one. Why would you not? I want to be those. that in that trailer. I don't know. That's weird. That's cool. That's I it. I'm interested now. I'm interested for sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Also, also, fucking hell, make a content Alan Wake game. Chat brings up a pretty good point. Smilegate is also the developer of Lost Ark, which is a really hype ARPG that uh, had a beta earlier this year that potentially means they might bring it over to the West, which would be pretty fucking sick if that uh, if that occurs. Uh, what was after that? Coming up on the final couple of things here, and we'll wrap up for Xbox and get ready for Bethesda. This looks really fucking good. Is a, is a world, this looks drop-dead gorgeous. Tales of Arise, uh, this leaked yesterday, uh, or maybe the day prior, um, but it was just a single image, uh, and it looks absolutely fucking gorgeous. Um, yep. This is exactly, in my opinion, what the Tales series needed was a new engine. Uh, the most recent one, Tales of Berseria, was a little bit rough-looking, uh, and this looks everything but that. It looks fucking awesome, uh, graphically. We'll have to see. That shit's face. Uh, what was that? Oh yeah, that's that. We're pulling the sword out of her heart. Duh, that's fucking tail shit right there. Absolutely. He's gonna get stronger because we broke his mask in half, Rami. Duh. Nice. Look how fucking gorgeous that game looks. Yeah, it's fucking incredible. Looks so fucking great. Rise up, game. If I was, sorry. If I was a a VFX artist, I would want to work on this. It's look at those effects. Look at that. Look at the particles. It's like it went like okay. 50% 50% of our GPU time is going to rendering the game, and the other 50% is going, going to go to particles. So you do your shit. I'm in. Tells of a rise. Was there a release date tied to that? Oh, 2020 is what it said. Great. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Sold. I will play that. Uh, Borderlands 3. They said the word Schluter. But before yeah, we get to that. Town Sweet 3. What was that, Co? I was going to say a quick update. Uh, the Dying Light 2 lead designer is doing a, um, a YouTube interview right now, and he mentioned a couple important things. First of all, apparently the spring 2020? Did they yeah. mention that at all during Xbox? Oh, they did? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and second of all, he just let it slip. He's like, uh, the main character, Aiden, is in a city where everyone is infected. Oh, okay. That's bad news. Uh, oh. They kind of hinted at that in the trailer somewhat. Not only he oh. was, but everyone else was. Yeah, I, I ooh, okay, that's gonna be interesting. Yeah, just nuke, <laughs> just nuke the city. We'll go from there. Just nuke the city. Yeah, I know, right? My <laughs> lord. Uh, yeah, Borderlands three, sure. They didn't really show much. Uh, they announced that the Borderlands two DLC, uh, I think, is available now. Commander Lilith in the fight for the sanctuary. Uh, that's gonna connect. What do you to need to three. know? What do you need to know about Borderlands? It's Borderlands. Yeah. Right. <laughs> like, it's, like we know, we know. It's Borderlands. I'm excited. I'm gonna play Borderlands because it, it's Borderlands. Sure. Yeah. It's a slu- it's a shooter. That's true. It, yeah. Oh, fuck. Uh, that might be the oh. one reason I do not play Borderlands <laughs> is because the word. Is the term shooter. Sure. Yeah, shooter. I'm out. Uh, it's great shooter. What was that? Uh, Co. Some more stuff. No, no. I was gonna say. Yeah. It's 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 more. It's Borderlands. It's night. Like we, we've we've had this yeah. discussion on Drop a couple times. It's. It's like 90% everything that Borderlands fans already have, but right. I think that's exactly what they want. So yeah. it's kind of like awesome. Great. Yeah, <laughs> that'll be on September. Uh, the yeah. next couple of stuff was hardware and, and kind of infrastructure stuff. The Project <laughs> X Cloud, they mentioned like the console streaming. They didn't really go into what. They said that you can turn your Xbox, your current Xbox, into a streaming thing, but they... Did they go into why you would want to do that and like what it's streaming to? Like, they didn't. Oh, oh! I think the premise was that they made it sound almost Google Stadia esque, to where like your library can exist online. Um, I don't know why you do that with the console that's not mobile. Um, huh? But they, it, yeah, it seemed like I thought streaming at first they meant like mixer streaming. But then later they made it sound like they meant more like streaming data. And they with the Azure thing, like that's like that's basically Microsoft's AWS competitor. So yeah. I yeah. They may be doing a Stadia competitor. Well they are. I mean, I think they are. Yeah. Yeah, yeah oh, that's out there. That. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. But yeah, like the, again, like it and just maybe drop most of the console part of it. And I don't know, man. I don't isn't that what they're pushing for though? Like, isn't that what Microsoft has really been trying is to become just like they're putting Xbox Live games on 
Uh, they were talking about like Xbox Live being on Switch. They were talking about Xbox Live being on PC. They're talking about Xbox Live being in the cloud. They're like, I think they just want their games to be on whatever. Right. If, if they could put it on Sony, they would put it on PlayStation. I have the same issue with with X Cloud that I do with Stadia, and it's just like, tell I one I want to see this and I want to see the tech work, and two, I don't understand the messaging has just been so bad to like what the service is actually going to be across the board. And all, like, I don't know. They didn't, I, I feel like the next cloud stuff was Phil Spencer out there saying a bunch of stuff. And then that was it. And they didn't really show much. Well, like basically I think they're doubling down on their anywhere, anytime. Right. Any game. Right. That's what he's trying to say. And the problem with this cloud shit is everybody is vague about it because it doesn't work yet. So big promises right. are bad. Yep. Um, yeah, we can we could spend a lot of time talking about the Stadia stuff and we probably will on like, the next drop. Let's put it this way. The demo I've had of Stadia, even before it came out, I'm in the Netherlands, which back then wasn't an, a country that was officially supported. Um so the servers weren't here, the, the edge servers weren't here either. And it worked, it actually worked kind of fine. It's just, it's specific experiences that'll work. Uh, like split second, first person shooter, don't play that shit. Right. Are you kidding me? But like, uh, a lot of games actually already kind of have input lag designed into their game. Like we just kind of do. Uh, those games will work fine. Yeah. Well, we'll have to see. I don't know. That's again, they, they don't answer it's a lot of questions. It, it's just no, stuff that we because have they see. don't have the answer. Yet. Yeah, yeah, we'll just have to see. Uh, we talked about the new Xbox right uh, out of the conference here at the start of our recap, so we won't recap too much there. Um, oh God, is it really seven twenty? Yeah, Wait, how long until the next conference? We got like forty minutes to the next conference. That's what I was saying. Uh, <laughs> we got to wrap up so we can have a little bit of a break. So then I was talking for the rest of the night. Okay. Um, and then Halo Infinite was shown, and again, just like I said, right when that ended. Trailer didn't show much, didn't show anything at all, really. Um, in fact, it, it looked it looked okay, didn't get any gameplay. That was totally just a, a, a tug at the nostalgia strings uh, and the three okay, but, fucking keys that they played. I was like, yeah, really, uh, pretty good. I'm, I'm Halo. Let's be honest, the reveal of Master Chief, really fucking good though. Oh, it was great. I knew it was going to happen. I knew that somehow Master Chief was going to just like show up in yeah, some but- fucking awesome way. Wiping the window? Yeah. Sure. I, I did like an aud- I did an audible gasp. I was like, <gasps> Yeah. Like that's how you feel. That's how you feel that your protagonist helpless drifting his face behind a dirty window. Yeah. That's how you do it. I'm into it. It looked great. Dude, I one of the very few things I remember. I did a Halo run. I didn't I don't think I played all the games, but I played yeah. it with my wife actually in co op. So, you know, I was mostly focused on making sure she was having a good time and stuff, <laughs> not so much on the game. Um, but I remember the ending. I remember that very last part vividly with this, with the, the ship in the middle of nowhere and Cortana talking to the chief and stuff. So I got to admit, I'm not even a big Halo guy. But when you, when you see Master Chief floating in space there, it's just like, dude, oh, I'm telling you, those the, the fucking song, <laughs> man. That is like one of the most yeah. iconic songs, I think, in oh, video it was games. Two games ago. Yeah. Oh. I, yeah, he got found. Like with Halo, the, the thing, so in what? old Halo, in Bungie Halo, the thing with Master Chief is he would always fall to a planet. Right. And the trick about being Master Chief is that you, he always dropped two feet from a death drop. Right. Right. Um, the new Master Chief thing is apparently to just get lost in space. Yeah. And Earth, they lost the war. And they, they, they keep again, space every time. They hit on more nostalgia by like, get ready to fight because that was the whole thing of Halo 2 is like, we got to finish the fucking fight. And that was like one of the most iconic things when they showed that trailer at fucking E3 whenever that launched and said, finish the fight at the end of the fucking trailer. They did that great. again last week. They did it again last week. They yeah. said, it, said it about Destiny. Yeah, it was it was the most like inside high five I've seen in my life. Uh, Besides them saying we're now in control of our own destiny, which made me cringe. It was good. But also it was cute. It was good stuff. (sighs) 
that was the Xbox conference. I kind of, I don't want to say this, but I feel like that is going to be like, not the, that's going to have the most of any conference. Not necessarily maybe the best, that's up to your opinion, but that's going to, like, I've, I don't know if anyone could actually have more than all of the shit that we saw during Xbox. It was so well, much stuff. It was so much maybe, stuff. Maybe PC yes. gamers. I the PC, oh. the PC game show is just usually game, 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 game. They and showed I got some sixty-four games. fucking games. <laughs> well, then on the other side, when you think about it, if you want to beat Microsoft, you just show twelve games with gameplay. Sure, sure. You're not, that you, you're, headed, like, you're not wrong. I'm excited for all the stuff they have. Don't get me wrong, but I'm not. I don't know what exactly most of these games are. You're which... very. Yeah, you're not wrong. It was a lot of like, hey, check out this CG, without a doubt. This and Again, CG. yeah, again, it, you kind of nailed it where it's like this is a breathe in type moment where they're getting ready to push everything out there, but they're not ready just, just yet. So wait a little bit longer until early 2020 and then all this shit's going to be playable and, and out there. Yeah. Yeah. Without I'm a doubt. excited for that, though. Like they've made all the right moves and just, you know, the, the potential of seeing these games in action is exciting. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no fable. No fable, that's right. Yeah, that's the no last fable. thing I want to say here. Where the fuck was fable? That, like, that's kind of unfortunate. It, that, that's two years in a row where everyone's like, guys, the fable's going to it's gonna be there at E3. There's a rumor it's going to show up. The fable's going to be You know be what there. the best part is going to turn out? That there were never were even plans for it, and just some dude at Mixer got confused. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. It fucking, like, why would it yeah. be in the... I mean, the, I mean, the same guy that accidentally set up a warning in Hawaii, and it's just like, whoa, my bad, dudes. <laughs> like, shit. <laughs> ah, sorry. They were, they were talking about Sable, and then it accidentally ah. got mixed up. Oh. That's what maybe happened. So. Maybe so. Did, did you say Fable 4? Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, my bad. My bad. Oh, that's not good. Oh, boy. Some, some guy's sitting there like, Sable's, it's going to be Sable for PlayStation 4. And it's like, Fable 4? No, Sable 4. It's Fable 4. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Table good. Story? Good. Oh, Table Story. Oh. I would play, I would play Table Story. Yeah. <laughs> not like Game Dev Story, but for tables. <laughs> All right. That's going to do it. That's the Xbox conference. We got to shuffle some other people in here and get Rami the fuck out of here. He's going to be back tomorrow. He's going to be back tomorrow. Here, so we're done. We got more stuff. We got Bethesda. Oh, wait. Oh, we got till 8.30. So we have an hour code till it actually starts. Say, JP, are, you, are you turning the stream off or just popping a timer? I'm just going to basically stop the recording so we can chop this VOD and then we'll come back and just hang out uh, most likely. So I'm going to go. What am I tomorrow? Back. You're yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, you're live with us tomorrow, Rami, at uh, 4 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. UDC. For yeah, 4 8 fine. yeah, I was thinking of maybe drive to Paris, but if I do that, I'll have to do it early. Uh oh, you could try. Uh, I'll be there at 8 p.m. Don't worry about it. Okay, all right, let's do some shout outs. Okay, let's fuck out of here. Rami, why don't you start? This is his <laughs> shout out right here. You got it here. Okay, there you go. Oh, all right, other way, other way, get, other way. There get, you go. Get, get, get your screenshot buttons ready. Okay, One. here we go. All right. Ah, so I'm Rami. I'm one half of Dutch Independent Studio of Lambeer. I'm the creator of Nuclear Throne, which is a game that I'm showing to Steam codes for. I'm gonna put like five on the screen or something. Uh, I'm also on Twitter. If you want to see me talk about games industry or other nonsense, just check me out there. Every now and then I stream Twitch games, talk about them as a game developer. So if you just want to see me very excited about how they did the grass in a game, just tune in there. Mm -hmm. um, that's me. Uh, thanks so much for checking to, for listening to my nonsense all evening. Awesome stuff. Glad to have you here. We'll see you here tomorrow for uh, Ubisoft. Co, some shout outs. Absolutely. Hi, everyone. My name is Co. Nice to meet you. It's been a blast. Big thanks to Rami for stopping by today. It's been awesome. And of course, Zeke and JP as well. Uh, you can find me every day at 8 a.m. Although tomorrow, um, although I will be watching the show on my channel. As soon as that's done, I'm going to be dropping in with the Drop Frames crew directly afterwards. So anywhere you are, um, we will be there. Yeah, I don't have any codes. I'm not. I'm not quite as cool as our as our guest today this one um, is this one is from Kyle. <laughs> yeah. We're just but, uh, this is cool. <laughs> yeah there we go, there we go. Yeah. but anyway thank you guys so much for watching we will see you in just a little bit for bethesda and if we don't catch you for bethesda hope to see you guys tomorrow for the plethora of awesome stuff that we will hopefully be seeing so yeah thanks for watching it's gonna be a good time. Uh, zeke some shout outs please 
Hi, everybody. My name is Zeke. I'm a partner of Rowdy Caster and co host of Drop Frames. You can find me all the time, Rage Caster, on my channel, Zeke in the Third. Have a good day. All right, Zeke, thank you so much. There's some more nuclear throne codes. Uh, we're going to shuffle Rami out of here and bring in Shannon Zek Killer and Ammunition for Bethesda. If you're watching live here on Twitch, if you're watching on YouTube, go check out the VOD for that stuff. We'll be back Thanks, buddy. in a bit. <laughs> Thanks, Rami. Thanks, Code. Thanks, Zeke. See you guys in a bit.